folks hello and welcome to let's have some streams i'm your host tara Del fox here and welcome to some nintendo switch games that are kicking my ass right now but anyway <laughs> well nothing to report that much since the past last stream so i think we're just going to go ahead and uh dive right on in if you all don't demand but first let's, let's go over the game plan let's go over the game plan all right huddle in huddle in huddle in Folks, huddle it, huddle it. Very important, very important, very important. Okay, here's the game plan. I am at the area. I think I'm actually in the like the second, the last area or second to last area before we fight the final boss of Pokemon. So we're gonna try to beat that today. Also, we're gonna play some Travis Strikes Back. And we're gonna try to beat that one today as well, if possible. And if we have time, we'll play some Cuphead. Sound good? Knock out two games in one day? That sounds good to me. That sounds really good to me. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds fantastic to me. Fantastic! Alright. Let us go on ahead. Move on over. Get my game all set up and ready to go. Alright. Oh, forgot my earphones. Hold on one second. I would like to hear the music of the game. Because it doesn't sound too bad. It actually sounds pretty nice. Alrighty. So like I said, this is like the second to last dungeon. I'm getting my ass kicked. I used like six revives already. And as you can tell by our health, we're not doing too well, but we should be fine. Okay, what is your problem? That is your problem. 
Oh, and I went through two areas where they just gave me a shit ton of uh, enemies dropping on me. Like there was no tomorrow. Ugh, it was annoying. Oh, don't move, don't wake him up. Don't fucking wake him up, guys. Don't wake him up. Okay. All right, so like I said, uh, my old file has been removed. So this is a new file. Hey, what is that? I want, I want this. What is this? I want to pick up. Well, then I'm gonna swap. What the hell do I have that I can swap with? And eh, drop that shit. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about that. So anyway, uh, yeah, I do have new abilities. Welcome to uh, Ty. Hello and welcome. Fun fact, if you choose Cubone as your character or partner, you are canonically causing someone's mother to die. Huh? Why? I, I don't understand the Pokemon lore of that one. I'm not too familiar with that one. But regardless, hello and welcome. Since Cubones wears its dead mother's skull on its head. Oh, does it? Ew. Oh my god. Jesus, I didn't know Cubone was such a savage. Jesus. That's awfully rude of him, if you ask me. Really fucking rude. Anywho. So I kept some of the stuff, like Water Gun, Aqua Tail, uh, Brick Break. Those are still back. Blizzard, I was able to switch out. And Blizzard is kind of OP. Well, kinda. It, it misses kind of a bit. But it can take up a lot of the screen and help a lot with the enemies. Or other Pokemon. And uh, I got a few other stuff for him. Got Thunderbolt for uh, Absol for once. That was pretty cool. No, don't fight him. Run away. Oh, well, he's almost dead. Let's try to kill him. There we go. Okay. Okay, this time. This time for real. This is it. This is the one. We're not gonna fail. I'm not gonna be cheated out again. Is this the top floor? Who goes there? Who dares to trespass upon my airspace? That voice! Is that Rayquaza? I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm trying my best here, folks. Indeed it is. The sky is my domain. Depart at once. But we don't have the time to argue. We came here because we need your help. Never. I am a being of the sky, and you are but denizens of the ground. To each there is a world destined as their own. For hundreds of millions of years, never once have I descended to the ground. And the opposite shall be also hold true. Let there be no mercy for those that defy the laws of nature. Prepare for the end! If you do lose, can I get extra points? <laughs> well, if I knew how to, sure, but unfortunately I don't, so there's that. Okay, first things first. Okay, let's... I gotta escape just in case we need it, but I don't... I don't know if that actually works here or not. Uh, let's see. Got a few revive all. Little possibilities. Okay, should I... Let's go to sleep. Let's make you go, go to sleep. Holy shit, you woke up fast! What the fuck? Okay, that didn't work too well. Um, hold on. We got other options. We got op options. No flight on this floor. Good. His ass got frozen, goddamn. Throw the fools, hello and welcome. Strong wind gusts and the clouds beneath shake violently. Whee. Okay. All right, everybody, power up. Whee! 
Demetria, hello and also welcome. See, I told you, Blizzard's kind of OP if uh, if, it w if it works right. And I never found a room with an invitation to it, unfortunately. No nothing came up for it. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, sweet Jesus, let's fucking go! I'm literally like 15 or 20 levels higher than my last game, and this area still kind of kicked my ass. This is ridiculous of a, of a peak of difficulty. Dude, I kicked your ass fair and square. Shut up. Whoa. What? A quake? It can't be! We're up in the clouds! These are shockwaves, and they're huge! That's it! I get it now! Look straight up, Rayquaza! Huh? <laughs> Does that mean, huh? Yeah. I was gonna say, how does an earthquake work when they are not on Earth? That is a very fair point. <laughs> but I imagine they were gonna explain it, so. Musky, get over here! Musky! Oh, Musky! What? You're such a bitch. What did you say? I have an itch. <laughs> <laughs> I have an itch, I swear. An itch, an itch! I hope it's the Dragon Ball Z one again. <laughs> what is that? It's a shooting star! It's gigantic! It's going to destroy the world if it isn't stopped. That's why we came, Rayquaza. We need you to destroy that falling star! So that is why... Yes, hurry! Destroy it! Before I try, I need to know your resolve. The star has come too close. If I were to lose my hyperbeam here, you would not escape unscathed. So what? We knew that right for the start! Well said. Take charge of your destiny! Isn't this like one of the special Pokemons from one of the previous games? Because I think I remember seeing this one like on the cover of a Pokemon cartridge. Or a package or whatever. Like, and there's like so many rare Pokemon nowadays that I don't even know what is rare, what's not anymore. Dato Fiend, hello and welcome. And it's a god Pokemon, really? A god? Jesus Christ, I didn't know we are getting religious up here. Yes, oh well, okay. Whoa! Rekuza, yes, is a legendary Pokemon. The terror didn't give it a- wait. I didn't know there was god Pokemon in Pokemon! I didn't know! <laughs> My only knowledge is like the old anime cartoons from the 90s and playing Pokemon Scarlet for the first time and then this one. This is my knowledge of Pokemon and that's it. Is this a dream? No, this is no dream. Yes, 
The star's explosion swallowed me! And now I'm adrift. As a spirit. What's going to happen? <gasps> Gengar! The shadow. Gengar? <laughs> Agatha. Didn't take much to put you down. Serves you right. <laughs> now what to do with you? I know. I'll drag you to the dark world. That'll do it. Kangar is dragging me. Kangar said he would drag me to the dark world. What is the dark world? Am I going to be abandoned in a world I don't know? Well, it'll happen to, to, to us once. Why not again? Huh? Darn it, I took the wrong path. What? How the fuck do you take a wrong path in an empty void, you idiot? This isn't like me. I can tell which way is which. K forget it. I'll just ditch you here. That's it. Goodbye to you. The Pokemon Arceus is legit. God in the Pokemon universe who created everything? What? What? So there really is a fucking God in Pokemon. What the fuck? What? What? Okay, now I know Pokemon, it, the franchise is just getting stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but what? 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 But hey! Hey, can you hear? Step out of it! Huh? This place. Ugh. And there's a minor god governing the world so it doesn't fucking break. Oh my god. Secretly, Gengar purposely left you there. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Oh yeah, the god deities and aliens, all of them are there. Hell, they're even time-traveling Pokemon. Wait! Aliens?! Oh my god, hold on, hold on, what? There are god Pokemon and there's aliens. Are you fucking serious? The time traveling one, I'm not too surprised. They kind of hinted at that, in the, like the very first Pokemon sets. So I'm not too surprised with those ones, but... God damn. Oh my god. They, the writers literally just threw the Pokemon out the fucking window at this point, didn't they? And just did not give a shit what happened, did they? Or at least it sounds like it. I don't know. It's Maybe it is a fucking good idea. A fantastic idea. And they did fantastic things with it. I don't know. <laughs> it just sounds stupid to me. Ugh. Whatever. Whatever. On with the story. I want to finish this damn game. Ugh. Regain consciousness. Ooh. I'm sure of it. I'm sure back there, Gengar saved me. Maybe. Did Gengar save Agatha too? <gasps> awesome! You're alive! You really had all of us worried! What the fuck is your problem? You were incredible! <laughs> I'm so glad you're safe! Oh, Canopy, you're so fucking cute! It's fantastic! Everyone, thank you, but... What about the star? What happened to it? Fear not, the star is no more. Though it will not be the right, right away. The disaster shall soon be calmed. Where's our friend? Be calm, your friend is safe. Really? We did it, Agatha! We got it done! We won peace! Satan is real too impo- Can I just- just- Oh. 
Okay, there we go. Just, uh, just, uh, <clears throat> there, okay. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> Yippee, this is the greatest! This calls for a celebration! Let me shoot my hydro pump to kick it off! Whoa, hold on there! Don't you point those things at me! Face the other way! The other way! No, no, let her loose! <laughs> let her rip! You've got to be kidding me. Wait, what? What? what ha what's happening? What's going on? I'll secure him so he can't get away. Oh, not bad. What? You're serious? Wait, what are we doing? <laughs> Agatha. Gardevoir. We owe everything to you, Agatha, and your friends. Peace has returned to our world. Thank you for everything. And now, Agatha, your role here has ended. Soon you must return to your own world. It is time to bid farewell. Gardevoir is a god too, right? Or something? Oh! Are they? I thought it was a spirit in just this game, because this one died. But, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's finally come. This time has finally arrived. Agatha, I'm so sorry for this. To everyone, please bid farewell. Oh, Agatha! Agatha! Your body! What's happening? Mikey. And everyone. I'm sorry. But I have to leave. What? But what are you saying? Everyone. Thank you for everything over all this time. Huh? Leave? What do you mean, leave? My role as a Pokemon has ended. I have to return to the human world. Unbelievable! I still think my favorite Pokemon that create they created is the pedo balloon that only takes small children and don't like fat kids. <laughs> yeah, I remember you telling me about that one. <laughs> pedo balloon, oh my god. Go back to the human world? Huh? Wh why? Why? I don't understand! Why do you want to leave? Don't- didn't we- aren't we friends? Yes. You will always be my friend, Mikey. I will never forget you. Teenage Mutant Ninja Squirtles, man! Teenage Mutant Ninja Squirtles! Wait, Agatha! I'm lucky to have met you. I- what am I going to do when you're gone, Agatha? I'm so very sorry. This is goodbye. Agatha. Agatha! 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 No! You'll always be a teenage mutant squirtle in my heart! Minus be Mankey, which sometimes gets so angry that they die. Oh my god, do they? I know they die, but she's- or not die. I know they get angry, but I didn't know they die from it. Oh my god. Why is Pokemon so dark? What the fuck? I thought this was a harmless little kid's game. Why is everything so evil and vicious? Goddamn. Jesus. Agatha, why? I don't understand. Why? Why was it necessary to leave us? Agatha saved my life, but I hadn't done anything to show my thanks. Left before I could even say thanks. You're right. Just upped and went like that. Why now? Why when the world's been saved? 
Just when things were going to get better. <laughs> this was coming. Our world, it was saved by Agatha. I look back now. When bound for the sky, Agatha seemed as if resigned. Resigned to accept what was to come. I think I know. I think I understand now. Agatha became a Pokemon to save us. And when, when the star was destroyed, Agatha knew that would be the time to leave. Why? Why didn't Agatha tell me earlier? If this was coming, why did Agatha tell me? Those words couldn't be spoken. As much as you are heartbroken now, Agatha must have felt the same pain of leaving. Try to understand, Mikey. <laughs> Agatha! So am I actually turning into a human or am I, like, actually dead or something? Also, why is Alex Sam acting shocked? They used to be humans till they turned into Pokemon. Oh my god, this is- this is go oh, scrolling, oh shit. This is my spirit? I wonder where I'm going. Whee! Oh! Voices! I hear voices! Your friend is heartbroken. A true friend. A friend for life. Marin Hecka, hello and welcome. You finally realize it now. If you wish, a wi and wish very strongly, perhaps you will meet again. Oh my god. The ending I was robbed last time! You son of a bitch game! Ah. And Ninetales is a is nine extremely powerful sage to only turn to a fox? What? 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 Oh my god. Well, ad break's gonna happen in three minutes, but uh, I'll try to share my thoughts. So, all things considered, I do actually like this game. <clears throat> it's actually pretty fun and pretty cute. I really, really like the art direction this went. It was really nice and pleasant to look at. Uh, I thought the story was pretty interesting as well. I was actually pretty invested with it and I wanted to know more. Music is also pretty good. Have no complaints about it. <laughs> no, you weren't robbed. I was giving point six to that. Oh, shush you. Oh, shush. <laughs> um, honestly, the only real downside is that I did think the game, literally majority of the game is way too easy. I mean, the only area where I did struggle was just this final dungeon and that was it, which seems to have like this really weird difficulty spike. I, I'm not too sure. It's just weird to me. And I couldn't make any friends, by the way, so I that made things even more difficult and I couldn't offer them as sacrifices or anything, so there's that. Whereas in like every other dungeon, I could easily make friends, like, overflowing with friendship, but then that made things way easier. So I would say just the easiness made it... It's fun game, but also, I guess, kind of boring to the point where I was getting sleepy. <laughs> it, this game makes me fall asleep, surprisingly enough, because it's there's just no difficulty in it. It's just too easy, and it just... It's easy for me to, like, shut off my brain and not pay attention to it. <laughs> but it was actually easier for me to kind of focus on other stuff, like watching YouTube or doing a little bit of art while playing this, because of how mind-numbing it was and how you, much you don't really need to pay attention to it. <laughs> I couldn't make any friends. Girl, same. Girl, same. You weren't robbed. We know. We, we now can keep claiming no proof. <laughs> well, Matt will never let it down. <laughs> He'll deny it either way. 
this was a quick okay game, just I would kind of just expect it like a piss easy game until the final dungeon, honestly. Whew, thank god I overprepared. Thank god I overprepared this time. But then again, I was like 15 to 20 levels higher than my last save anyway, or my last playthrough, so I, I'm pretty sure I was able to tough it out a little bit better. But overall, I, I did enjoy it for the most part. Even though it made me tired and a little sleepy, I did enjoy this a lot. It was a pretty fun game. So one Super Meat Boy, cuz... I have no idea, honestly. I really don't know. I'm like mentally traumatized by Super Meat Boy, honestly. <laughs> I just don't know if I really ever want to even go back to that game. All right, can we speed through these? Did you say you couldn't make friends to Scarface? <laughs> Is he the one that g pulls out a gun that goes, Say hello to my little friend! And just shoots the people. <laughs> well, I can't seem to fast forward this, but I want to see if there's like a special bonus ending or something. Yeah, I have seen that clip, surprisingly enough. Yes, there's more. Good. Did you watch the movie now, though? Nope. <laughs> nope. I don't want to leave. I want to stay longer. With my invaluable... Irreplaceable friend. Oh, teenage mutant ninja squirtles, man. Sacrifice, autocorrect, but I am happy you knew a bit of it. <laughs> Mikey! The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are back! Or Squirtles are back! <laughs> oh, poor Mikey! The end! Oh, man. Wait, who's the voice, though? Who was the voice talking to us? The story of Agatha and Mikey ends here. But Terribles isn't done. <laughs> <laughs> there are many rescues to be done. A new adventure begins. The legendary Pokemon are set to make their appearances. Don't go away. All right. All right, folks. Well, that is it for uh, Pokemon. That is a game cleared in my book. Saw so the credits and everything. And it even said the end to us. The end. And you know, it's officially over when you see the end. Uh, actually, Dotafine, we're actually not playing a, a Cuphead right now. I'm also going to try to finish Travis Strikes Back. It's about two to three hours more into the game. And then afterward, if we have time, we'll play some Cuphead. Which I'm pretty sure we will, but eh. As long as Travis Strikes Back doesn't uh, fuck us over too much. What if I see the end? What a text just pops up in front of you saying the end. And you're just like, what, what's going on? Why am I seeing the, the text, the end? You, you might be screwed if that is the case. 
Unless there's a, like a chip in your brain to activate the text or something. Oh, with the question mark? Hmm. Probably just means, probably hinting that they're just seeing a, a sequel or something. Hinting at one. Maybe they will do it or maybe they won't. I don't know. I don't know. As long as I see the end, I don't care what version of the end, as long as I see the end, I know the game is done. It's done for now. Well, you're supposed to know. Oh no, I don't. Oh, well, you sound really, really salty, buddy, but whatever. All right, let's play a new game. Killer Marathon. Could you on as Travis? However, I'm kind of worried about the cloning stuff. Like, I wonder if, like, leveling up only Travis and later on it forces us to play the, as the other character and we're like, oh no, I have not leveled up this guy at all. That would be such a troll move to do. Oh, man. I feel like they would do that too. The developers would do that. Like it's not beyond the realm of imagination that they would do something trolly like that. Man, is that guy really gonna have been in just one fucking game? Just annoyingly be in that one game? Where am I? It's under construction. Why are you, blind? Under construction? What the hell does that mean? This is what it looks like when a location is being built in Unreal. So it's a work in progress, huh? How much of it is done? I have no idea. Go ask that woman, Dr. Juvenile. She is kind of moody. She had problems with the sap while making Killer Marathon. She started flipping over the tables and stuff. Made them redo the whole thing. Did somebody piss her off? Because I know you won't know what I'm talking about. I'm saying you say I sound salty all the time also. <laughs> well, you're right. I, I have no idea. You're, you're speaking gibberish. You speak nonsense. Every game development team is unique to others. I mean, that's probably true for any type of workplace, but none of them are that simple. I thought that making video games was a much more fun job, but... <laughs> yeah, fun, I'm sure. Lots of fun. Is this actually Unreal Engine? Yeah, they actually. it's actually Unreal Engine. It's even on the cover of the... Uh, Nintendo Switch and everything. And they're promoting the hell of it, saying, Unreal Engine! This is from Unreal! Unreal Engine! Oh my god, Unreal Engine! Yes. It's extremely low-key, yet delicate work. Like, surprisingly so. I see. Anyway, I don't care if it's a work in progress or not. I'm passing through. Don't come crying to us, to us if things go badly. We warned you. I'm going on a tour of Dr. Duminal's mind. Alright, Grandpa's word of what's so much you got. People who say I follow you forever usually don't. Not even 10%. Ouch. Alright, words of wisdom. You shouldn't go any further. Pandora's box is coming back. It's called the Death Drive. Okay. Got a customer? Welcome in. Give me your best ramen, biggie. I have no words. Now I'm down to speaking gibberish. <laughs> Tenkatsu Shoyu, the Yokohama bad boy. Enjoy the one-two punch of pork and soy sauce. Ooh.
Zwei. I actually don't really need these coins. They're usually just for buying clothes from the shop. I don't care about Fox from K. I just want to go. Oh boy, this is going to be a doozy, isn't it? That actually sounded pretty good. It sounded like the dialogue in there. I was trying to go for it. <laughs> if you can't take out the mo mothership, you're screwed. The nucleus is also called the core. Destroy the core. Light it up. Light it up, up, up. Light it up, up, up. Uh oh. We're right entering the void. A white void. Oh dear God. What happens when you enter the white void? I don't think I'm ready. Um. Okay, this aiming is really weird because it's aiming according to which direction you're aiming your ship. I kind of don't like that. I wish, I wish it was separated. Lucky with that. Also lucky with that. I don't know how that hit me. Or did not hit me. Tara, question. Do you have a fave song that you know all the lyrics to? Uh, hmm. Don't think I do, actually. I try to remember most lyrics, but yeah, there's always a line or two I always miss or fuck up. Whoa! So Tara, did I ask you if you saw One Piece? Uh, somebody did mention whether I've seen One Piece or not, and the answer was no. I don't have Netflix, so... Anything with Netflix related? No. <laughs> I heard it was actually pretty good, all things considered. Like, people were saying like, oh, it's not that bad. Go away. Go away. Oh my god. Please go away! Oh, that doesn't- okay. So I can die from that. Okay. Experimenting, just making sure I knew stuff. I should have known though at the same time. Whee! Oh, Jesus. Boom. So high score gives you an extra life. Just kind of like they did in the olden days. So what's your favorite clothing you like to wear in summer or winter? Um... I guess summer tank tops. Winter... Uh... Honestly, what I'm wearing right now is kind of what I like to wear all year round. Here, let's uh... Yeah, pretty much what I'm wearing right now. 
This is what I like to wear. Yeah, nice little... I forget the term of what this type of shirt is called, but... You know, it's kind of like tank top be ish It's not called a tank top, it's called something else, but it's like a tank top. Shows a lot of my shoulders. Wearing jeans, I always like wearing jeans. I generally like wearing tennis shoes, but I'm getting better at wearing different type of shoes. Or trying to be a little bit more fashionable, but... Yeah, generally, I, that's my, my, my usual go-to. There we go. That should be better. Sleeveless shirt. Uh, not quite. This type of shirt or design is like very specific. Cartagen or Cartage? No. Hmm. I'd have to double check the name of the shirt. I forget its name. I always forget its name, but I do like it whenever I see it. Cardigan? Oh, maybe that is it. Cardigan. Yeah. The copy of Killer Marathon I got wasn't just some pirate version. It was the Death Drive port of the legendary arcade game that started it all, created by John Winter himself. Apparently it's not finished. Dr. Juvenile must have created it by analyzing records and memories. I still have flashbacks to when I was a kid, oh, happening upon this game. The light emanating from the creepily alluring vector graphics seemed to pull me into another dimension. I wonder if Juvenile created this Death Drive MK2 specifically to facilitate this very ex experience. I kind of sympathize with Juvenile. No, that's just my imagination. Next up, the sixth death ball, the final game. What will Dr. Juvenile show me next? Bring it on the next game. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I would I would have to look it up what, what type of shirt this one is called specifically. Because I always forget its stupid name. Well, that game was really fucking fast. I mean, I, I was kind of glad because it didn't seem to offer that much of a variety, but whatever. Hell's Chainsaw. People wear a tank top in the category of casual wear. The common names for a tank top are sleeveless shirt, wife beater, or H T shirt. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't know about a shirt, but uh, wife Peter's kind of a little dark, but uh, some truth behind it. The sleeveless shirt? Uh, I guess that also counts too. I would imagine that was casual wear, but maybe casual wear is more like a t shirt, regular t shirt than sleeveless. But yeah, whatever. Listen to this, Jen. It's about a guy. Okay, what guy? A real asshole. His name is. Damon Ricitiello. From Utopenia? Yeah, those IT type dudes creep me out. A world of data, no actual substance. I mean, video games are just made up of data too, but that's okay? But those have substance and emotion. IT was born from an aversion to those. A tool of efficiency and consumption to destroy man. You get molested by an IT guy or something? Jesus, hitting us with the hard questions. Just looked it up, but it could be something else. Nah, eh, okay, fair enough. That asshole has the death ball. I sense a connection. Utopinia is an urban development consultation firm that specializes in revitalizing cities. They've grown huge in their re redevelopment projects. They got their eyes on Santa Destroy at the Utopia Land Amusement Complex. The building itself has become a paradise. After just a half a year construction, Utopia was able to open that huge complex. There are rumors that they're using some sort of technology from the future. Hey. 
An IT city. Screw that. The dudes in this town use conditioner to treat and treatment. Spray on cologne and shit like that. They take supplements. Soap is good enough for me. My musk is my cologne and nuts over supplements. Utopian Topinia IQ HQ. Looks like the university. A full cafeteria, a soccer field, a tennis court. It's like the perfect workplace. Depends on your values. Do you like girls with or without glasses or no preference? Personally, I prefer without, but that's just because I personally do not like glasses. But you know, if I ever met somebody and they did like, and they wore glasses, then it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll have to wear glasses, obviously. Depends on your va depends on your values. No, just a PC. No, that's old now. But just a smartphone, you can work from anywhere now. So this campus is all for show. Let me see the CEO, sweetheart. Travis, what's your tone? They're gonna kick you out. May I ask your name? The hero of Santa Destroy. Damon is away on business at the moment. Please come back again sometime. This chick seems good to at her job. Are you his secretary? Yes. Where is he? I'll go see him. Due to matters of confidentiality, I'm afraid I can't say... Whatever. You've got good taste for someone so young. Thank you. And have a nice day. Yeah, you better say that last part. <laughs> Well, more and more people are wearing glasses. I I think there was like a small study done that showed that more like gaming people or people who gamed quite a bit, they're actually starting to wear more and more glasses because they're in front of a, you know, a TV screen or a computer screen all the time. And yes, you can like w uh, get specific monitors and TVs that help with the eye strain and stuff like that, but it still doesn't like 100% counteract against the light and the effect it does to your eyes. So more and more uh, gamers are, you know, quote unquote, becoming blind, so to speak. But it's mostly the sh them needing to wear glasses. So it's kind of like a, uh, you can have your preference all you want, but if you want a gamer, then y you better be prepared for glasses. A really good question, but I have to say, as long as her eyes and small are in my liking, she can be in both categories. Hmm, fair enough. That t-shirt, Mappy. That's pretty cool. She's really something. My name is Juliet Chesterfield. I work at Utop Utopinia, a Damon's ter Tertiary... Tertiary secretary, Jesus. You know what a tertiary secretary does? I call the CEO to wake him up. I check the traffic before he leaves. It's a real hassle. I stop by the primary secretary's house, then the CEO's. There's even a bit of traffic. The primary secretary gets pissed off. Then I clean the secretary's office. Prepare the breakfast buffet. Welcome to the CEO. Deal with claims and complaints all day, mostly from the shareholders. I have to explain everything and calm them down. A big shareholder in New York hits on me sometimes. He took me on a day trip to Portugal on a private jet once. I totally would have spent the night, but I had work in the morning. The shareholder understood, but since then, I have to keep my guard up and turn him down. Telling him if I get soft in my youth, then I'm finished. Sorry, I kind of rambled on there. I joined Utopinia, Utopinia for after the CEO saw my videos. He scouted me right away. I was a pretty famous influencer digging up and live-streaming old Vector video games. Some games were crap, but I saw the future in those primary color-based graphics. I became head of a huge Vector game project at Utopinia. I was really kicking ass. The company was young, so I kept climbing up the ladder. Since I was a kid, I dreamed of being a secretary. Really? Why? So I requested that they make a tertiary secretary position, and now I'm in subordination tra subordinate training. That man. 
He noticed Nameco's famous na game, Mappy, on my shirt. Travis touched down. I know that guy. He beat me in the Unreal Tournament Finals. I could never forget him. Back in the day, I was a pro gamer myself. Man, I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't think it matters if they have glasses. We're not getting together either way. God damn, Thor the Fools. <laughs> She should have a face I like. The rest can change any time. So, Tara, describe your face. But you see my face on a daily, day-to-day -day basis. What, what, what's, what's wrong with my face? What's wrong with my face? What's wrong with my face? You see it on a day-to-day -day basis. What's wrong? What's wrong with it? Bugging me! Well, the tiniest bunk, goddamn. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. I fucked things over now. Hold on. Cute. <laughs> Thank you for the head pats. <laughs> oh, wow. That is. That is freaking out. Can I? Okay. Okay, did not like me moving when the head pats were happening. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> the joys of uh, touching and moving stuff around just to make a joke. <laughs> I just realized her right eye is see-through. Both of my eyes have a little bit of see-through in them. I don't know why though. I guess most eyes are see-through, if you think about it. True. <laughs> Very true. Tara likes to get hammered, it seems. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, God damn it! I love these shawasu noodles. They're really simple and remind me of all Japan. I've never actually been to Japan, but somehow Roman makes me feel super nostalgic. Gyoza and beer. Can't beat it. Mind if I sit down? It's you. What a coincidence! I love ramen too! What a convenient coincidence. Have a seat. Hold up! I remember. The 2008 Unreal Tournament World for Finales! Only you and I were left at the end! I still have nightmares about that mistake. I was still green. You weren't green. You went for beauty in battle, not the win itself. I like that. I don't need your consolation. If you don't win, it's pointless. Yeah, more bunking. Well, I do like to get hammered, so that's fair. That's not what you, what you came to talk about, is it? Nope. Tell me where, where Damon is. Cute. I need to talk to him. Everyone's just flipping back and forth with the bonks and head pats. <laughs> Everybody just likes my head today, apparently. My, my beautiful head. <laughs> yep, it's it's Bully Terra's head day. Got it. Jesus Christ! Okay, that's also fair. That's also fair. Bully Terra day. Okay, fair enough. Bully Terra. Got it. <laughs> All right, I need to talk to him. <laughs> Travis, who are you exactly? You're not just some random gamer, are you? You smell like blood. You know, it's funny that you mention that. You smell like blood, too. Maybe from way back in the day. I left my past behind me when I left home. But I guess I can tell you where Damon is. For reals? Where is he? How many bowls of ramen can you eat? If you can beat me, I'll tell you. Right on, I'm down. Get down with my bad self. Just kidding. You shouldn't waste ramen. Let's just enjoy what we have. 
Yeah, you're right. City is split. Creotia. Creotia. Creotia? How many hours away is that by bike? Look it up yourself. 96 hours? Not 69? Aw, oh, what a bummer. Utopinia is putting on a huge fist festival. There's a VIP party tomorrow. That's your chance. But don't kill him, okay? I can't promise anything. Huh? An intruder? This guy's suspicious. Take him away, boys. Take him away. We don't want him at all. You calling me suspicious? Do it. Oh. I was kind of j jamming out to the music, but then it changed. Bummer. Terry's crazy. What did I do? What did I do? Who? Who are you? Yeet! Are you a model? Yeet? Yeet? Ow! Ow! The fox has been yeeted. Wait, what is that in the right? Huh? Like, right here? That's Travis. Oh, the pink thing? Oh, that's a foxtail. Whenever you eat the fox, you it shows a pink tail. No, oh, excuse me, folks. I gotta get a change real quick. Okay, there we go. Alright, there we go. Yeah, it's a pink tail fox. Let me show that off one more time. <coughs> oh, it doesn't show very well. But yeah, it's a pink fox tail. It's supposed to sh show a sign of it's being thrown or being tossed or something. It's in action, in motion, so to speak. There's something that your battle armor hides too much? Nah, it hides just the right amount. I mean, we got my thighs going. Got my thighs going for us, you know. My sweet, glorious thighs. Okay, uh, let me set my timer. There we go. <clears throat> I mean, it seems like your boobs got a lot smaller. Not really. Those are the same boring ass boobs as always. Except a lot more jiggle physics this time. Lots of jig jiggle physics compared to my to my regular clothing. Anyway, <clears throat> story time. Story time. Story time. Story time. Are you a model? You look like a cosplayer. Or are you today's DJ? What the fuck am I look like? I'm the guy looking for your death ball. Not a very warm welcome, huh? Get the hell out of here. You need to brush up on your manners, son. What's up with the death ball you stole from Juvenile? I don't. No, no, I know nothing about that. You don't, do you? You used to work with Juvenile. Ah, uh, yes, uh, the prayer, the prayer, we gotta do the prayer. Chat. Oh, wait, no, no, we gotta do this right, we gotta do this right. No. Yeah, that works. All right. 
Chat, it is time for our daily prayer. Thigh, O oh thighs, who art in stockings, hallowed be thy legs. The kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in between those thighs. Give us this day our daily squish, and forgive us for our cringiness, as we forgive those who cringe against us, and lead us into the gape, or gap, and deliver us to horniness. Amen. 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 Oh, whoop. There we go. Poor Sarah's never going to finish the game like this. No, no, but that's okay. <laughs> it's all good. I simply joined the Serious Moonlight dev team and worked my ass off. Ah, wrong verse, voice. <clears throat> I simply joined the Serious Moonlight dev team and worked my ass off every day developing it. But all of Juvenile's ideas just came out of the blue. And the game just wasn't working out. So I got together with the other staff and we objected her game design. It was all for the sake of what we considered to be the perfect game. Then the project was canned at the last minute. And I was sent to another team. That woman. She became afraid of our amazing ideas. Whatever it took, I wanted to see Serious Moonlight finish. So I pressed Juvenile hard. I told her to hand over those, hand over the death ball. But she was so condescending since I was at an intern. Fuck her. She brought it upon herself. I beat Juvenile to a pulp. Even when her swollen face was twi twisted to pain, I kept on beating her. She finally stopped moving, so I let her go. I took the sole remaining death ball and went home. See, she's the one out fault here, right? You aren't even worth killing. Feel the same pain she felt. <laughs> My fists are gonna take a while to heal, jeez. Let's go, Jean. Piece of shit. Make sure you go to his face and fart on it. <laughs> I won't let you. Get away with this! I will have my revenge! 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 That actually looks really, really cool, I'm not gonna lie. The way that was designed. I feel chill. Yeah, and I got goosebumps. To be continued. God damn these fucking loading times though. Takes so long to get done. Oh. Do do boop. All right, more from K. What do you have to say? How can the CIA led to a terrifying discovery? We realized why almost 30 years of time passing had apparently reawakened the DDMK2. Deep beneath the CIA headquarters sleeps the DD mother machine, the DDAAA death drive triple A. This mother machine was an all new tool for of war. After creating the clones, they could be controlled remotely after being sent to the field. The clones were loaded with filtered cameras, making the opponents they face in battle look like nothing more than the bugs you've been fighting inside these games. Erasing any sort of guilt and doing away with both the physical and mental damage sustained by actual soldiers in battle, these drones were the ultimate war machines. After Vietnam in the Middle East, these drones incapable of suffering PTSD would drive prove to be the most amazing and terrible solution to possible to America's military issues. Clearing six games will cause the DD AAA sleep being beneath CIA headquarters to reset and eventually restore itself. And you are about to make this happen. However, I want you to remember this. I'm in no position to stop you. Actually, with such an accurate idea of the timing of the system restoration, I should be able to handle this. Crisis means opportunity. We will fight for hope. God bless America. Okay. We spent a lot. We have spent a such a long time fighting against the restoration of the Death Drive, but the, 
the times have changed bringing new advancements in AI, the system itself has evolved greatly. Up till now the system ran on programs created by man, but now we've reached the point where AI is able to learn independently and repair itself, and it has cre created an AI that can connect to and sync with the human brain. Apparently the mother machine beneath CIA headquarters has been connected to the brain of the recently dis dead legendary game creator John Winter. John Winter was our teacher, and it was he who created the first version of the Death Drive. I believed that it would be possible to prevent the system's re restoration, but then you showed up. It seems that however advanced an AI may be, the condition of having to clear all six games was crucial after all. Whether or not you end up clearing the games, the CIA will likely find a way to work things out eventually. This means that we have n no choice but to go up against them now. While the time is right, I'll continue this later. God bless America. I'm setting the blueprints for the... DD Triple A, take a look and I think you'll understand just how massively tough of an opponent we're up against. Alright, confidential, God bless America. That is one ugly motherfucker. Golden Dragon, look at fabulous. Serious Moonlight. You are actually colored. Oh. You did not look like this at all. But then again, you were like buggy and glitch, so I guess that makes sense. The story is apparently based on battling an evil demon lord in a world of fantasy. Title the her the heart and the arrow sticking out of it. Do I sense a werewolf game? I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to take down some kind of immortal bloodsucking vampire type werewolf who transforms in the moonlight. All right, well, let's see what final game we're going to play. Serious Moonlight. Oh, this is what we're going to play. Oh, okay. Ten hours of gaming a day. Hell yeah, ten hours of gaming a day. I don't think I... No, well, that's not true. I have gamed ten hours a day once. But not every single day. Jesus, that's too much for me. If I really liked a game and I was heavily invested, then yes. Yes, yes, yes. Whoa. Holy shit! Guy be looking cute. And he's dead. Oh wow, never mind. He he looks way more serious, but now with his eyes gauging out of him, not so much. This is goodbye, partner. Garcia, what are you saying? You take over for me now. Wait, what are you? This is vastly different compared to what we were shown from that, uh, archive thing. Like, so different. It's not even the same. Heart. Damn Dark Knight. Damn, this actually looks pretty cool. It looks like edgy crap, but it, it does look interesting. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> loading, 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 loading. Oh, oh, oh. 
What's going on? The title of the Death Ball was Serious Moonlight. A huge AAA dark fantasy RPG. But I know this world. It's from a game I beat six years ago. Shadows of the Damned. Garcia and Johnson fight demons. It's a famous action game. Is this the sequel or something? This is the underworld. Okay, hold on. Uh, the nice difference between taking a break between two days versus five days. Eh. Ah, wow, 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 wow. Oh, you stupid guys are the ones who's electrocuting me. Okay, I need to heal myself because I'm getting my ass kicked. No! Throw me in the healing! Oh no, that was wasted. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh my god, please stop. Thank you. Well, I'm going to lurk as I'm building a coffee table with power ports, so I'll be quiet for a while. Alright, no worries, Matt. You do what you must do. Thank God. I kind of don't want to go <laughs> going ahead without my healing. Yeah, let's chill for a minute. Yeah, we, we could take our time. We could take our time. Hey, there's a freaking bathroom right here. Let's go ahead and take it. Gotta use every single bathroom stall, remember, folks? Oh, they give me a full heal. Never mind. We're good. Shadows of the Damned. Game started as Fleming, Lord of De Demons. Kidnaps Garcia's girlfriend, Paula. Anyway, here we are at the light stage, Fleming's Tower. Garcia has died and only Johnson remains. Now Johnson has become eight hearts in order to exact revenge for Garcia. Give me that. No coin left behind, please. Thank you. Oh, well, sort of. Unless you're in an inconvenient spot, then yeah, we're gonna leave you behind. You have indeed acquired the Death Ball for Serious Moonlight, but once you load it up, it has a different game. Is this even a thing? Dr. Juvenile canceled Serious Moonlight. She wanted to create a AAA open world action RPG. At the time, there wasn't a single studio that was able to realize a concept of that scale with the available technology. Her idea shot down, Juvenile decided to take a huge gamble. Her favorite game was called Shadows of the Damned. She played it in the world of dreams. It's a super punk action game on which this world is based. 
World of Dreams my ass, I beat that game myself! I feel sympathetic toward Garcia. You almost never see a main character as goddamn cool as him. But, but back when the big trend in games was super yoked muscle heads, that dude rocked that racing jacket like nobody's business. Hmm, inspiration perhaps? Here's a little warning for you. Stay in the dark area will incur damage, so be care careful. Just sit there without thinking you'll die pretty quickly. So was that area turning into the dark area? It was kind of hard to tell. I was expecting like a blob on the ground or something. There we go. It's kind of linear ish. I knew it, son of a bitch. It was a little too obvious of a trap, but then again, it's the Unreal Engine logo coin thing. Nah, we don't get enough of those. I could always use a little bit more just in case for something. I have no idea. Oh, wow. That's convenient right there. Okay. Okay. Free money and a free Aztec thing, I'm a Bob. Got it. So that thing does turn into the black void and it does slowly kill me. Eh, bummer. Alright, whatever. We should be fine for the most part. Seem to be too bad. That off. Oh, Jesus, y'all, y'all. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, let's just casually heal ourselves for a hot minute. Man, those knights are really aggressive. They're very, very rude. Oh well, they at least pose a challenge. Uh, nothing over here? Ah, oh, bummer. It would have been a nice hiding spot to hide something.
Just saying. They want to nail you. So yeah, they're making the effort. Yeah. I can see that. Justin. Fleming's beloved songstress. No one who has ever heard her sing opera has ever come back alive. She stands before Garcia, giving the sense of a huge boss fight to come, and the battle turns out to be 2D. And she's actually really girly on the inside, too. Hmm. Well, good for her, I guess. But I imagine if she sings opera, she might be kind of on the girly side. I mean... I hate to judge a book by its cover, but when I think opera, I do think of more feminine qualities. Stop it. Topped up with health and already halfway dead. Jesus. Uh, let's see. Can I level up? Yes, I can. And not much, though, unfortunately. That's the, like the only downside to us. To this. Okay, I have other chips. What do we got? Crystal doppelganger to draw in enemies disappears after a set of time or after taking a set amount of damage. Okay. Fires a guided laser from an orbited satellite. Laser can be aimed using the stick after activating. There's a capsule spewing gas in four directions. Gas can be ignited to cause a huge explosion. Hmm. There's a bomb that sticks to enemies or walls explodes after a certain amount of time. So it's a wall blocking attacks and advancement dissipates after a certain amount of time or takes amount of damage. So that's good if I need to like heal up or anything, but eh. Spin like a top with unleash mobile rapid fire attacks. Ooh. Okay, so shining chip does the push away. Psycho chip does the stun wing. What does Wing do? I'm blanking on it. Electric, that's what it is. Okay. Oh, I didn't want that one actually. I wanted. And then switch Psycho Chip with the uh, V2 chip. I'm kind of curious about that. First, multiple shots from Death Club to Bridge mobilizes character's hit. Ooh. Forms a quick dash. Nuts berry milk blank mange? Temporary causes normal attacks to release a shockwave. Bad hop shoots a reflective ball. Attack power increases with each reflection. Balls can also be reflected to be reflected back by attacks. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's the one we just freaking had. I'm being stupid. Okay. I'm intrigued by the V2 chip. I'm, I don't know what, how that works. And look at that. We have a new set of enemies. Takes a while to charge up, though. I will give it that. So choosing your power moves? Yeah. 
Seeing what works and what doesn't work. Since we got so many of the things. Might as well experiment and uh, see how we feel about it. That seems simple enough, okay. Does the Leo? Moin. Moin to you as well. I think I missed something, but whatever. That was so much fun. That was awesome. I approve. If you would wield rep weapons in real life... Oh, well, Ad is starting. I'll answer that in a minute. But if I could wield weapons in real life, what would be your medieval weapon of choice? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, son of a bitch. Alright, we're back from break. Okay. Sorry, man. Sorry, I was waiting for that break to end so I can answer the question. Um, I think it would just be a sword. Honestly. Can't go wrong with a sword. And if not a sword, then a spear or a lance or like just something with a long stick and a pointy thing at the end. <laughs> How are you all doing? I'm doing pretty good. Hope everybody else in the chat is doing good, but I am doing pretty good. I would wield a hellbird. Eh, fair enough. Also a pretty good choice. Another damned favorite. The Sisters Grimm. You'd never think they were sisters, without being told. These Reapers. Their names are Maras, Colleen, and Guilty and grim. Somehow you're supposed to work the fact that they're sisters just by those names, which is kind of... Yeah, lame. It's nearing midnight, so getting ready for my sleep. Enjoying Terra. Okay, Marinheka. If you need to tune out, no worries. Thanks for tuning in as per usual. Do appreciate it. Have a good night, and hope to catch you next time. Who are you? Has eight hearts come back? Just a super badass assassin. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Mmm, yes. Badass, huh? You think you're badass enough to beat a sheep? Enough bullshit. Let's do this. It's your fifth trial, punk. You know what makes a bit mid boss really terrifying? Getting harder and harder. Die. I'll show you what a badass means. I'm gonna crush your ass. Oh, but it's so easy for them to stop it. It's like the only downfall of that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh man, when you do get into them into a corner, that is like such a good attack to use. All right, that is it for my outfit. Change back to my original form. And voila! I have returned. I am back. Thinking like, I've always been here, just changed the style of my clothing. Ooh. 
You know, you can just faintly see like a shadow in front of his private parts, so. I'm a fox, and I'm cute, 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 cute. Yes, I'm still a fox, and I'm still cute, 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 cute. All right, all right, I'm changing, I'm changing. I'm forming, I'm becoming something else. Something awesome and fantastic. You know, I should really get a game console for this. In some shape, way, or form. Like maybe put a fake one in front of my in front of my thing or something. I, I don't know. I, I'm not too sure. But we'll see. Maybe I can make one for myself. <laughs> change again. Alright, alright. I, I changed. I changed. I changed. I changed for you. Just for you, though. But then again, you also get points for it, so yeah. But yeah. 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 Elliot, the beast, the term psycho, was created just for this guy. He kills, chops, flays, and eats. He was probably the biggest psycho of all of Fleming's toadies. C R A Z Y. Crazy. Crazy for you? Oh, is this that black stuff again? Oh, go, 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 go! There we go. That black stuff is no joke. Screwed up my spin thingy. Get you. Get out of here. I didn't least waste my healing this time. That's not the second part of No More Heroes, is it? The second part? This is supposed to take place between the events of 2 and 3. Which is why we're playing it now instead of uh, later. But honestly, I, I think you could have played this just at any time and it would have made no difference. On some, unless they somehow tie it in to, in some shape, way, or form, which... They have yet to do, but... Oh, well, I guess I was supposed to go through that, that way. <laughs> I miss so much, I'm sorry. Don't worry, there's always the bots, and YouTube, and all that fun jazz. Wait. Are those... Iguanas? Three iguanas guarding? I'll admit that's a new for me. That's a new. Oh, well. That's just too easy with that power. Oh, man. Iguardian? Iguardiana? Iguardianas? Or something? I would say Iguandias. But that works too.
Oh oh. Kill myself again. Even though I do have extra lives, I still don't want to waste my lives if I don't have to. Like I had I like that satisfaction of doing this all within one life to spare. Or within one life and not losing any of them. It makes me happy. Oh, what round we want she Well we have today. Sukimen ramen fit for the gods. The seafood based broth provides a hint of class. Mmm. Ooh, classy. Don't do that. All right, this punk. Oh, when did you start shooting a gun? I didn't know you could shoot a gun. Oh, don't shoot me out of that. I'll admit, these guys are kicking my butt! My sweet fluffy butt! Where is Travis, by the way? This does not look natural at all. So, uh, according to the story, uh, him and the partner onto the other side of the screen, um, uh, both him and that guy are s traversing back and forth inside of multiple video games. And they're... It is called like the Death Drive MK2. And apparently it's like this huge secret uh console thing on Bob that was really popular, but then uh due to side effects and stuff, it got pulled off the shelves. And apparently it was also used to make um uh clones. Whoa, what the heck? Excuse me? Pardon me? Ah! Oh, don't dodge that! Rude! Oh, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! When did the guys get so mean? I'm just barely surviving around here. I mean, I guess that it's also kind of like almost close to finishing the game, so like I guess that makes sense, but still.
You're very rude. I don't like this fight. I might lose a life. Does this one have a life? Yes, lives. Okay, two. That one's done. Thank goodness. Oh, why does the healing take so long to charge back up? anymore. I, I just kind of want to just sit right here. Just wait till my healing charge up, charges up. How about that? How about that? I mean, look at me. Look at my guy. Okay, that, that needs to go away. Hold on. There you go. But seriously, look at the guy. Look at him. He ain't doing too hot. He ain't doing too hot. He ain't doing too hot. Well, now we're at half health, which is not that great, honestly. Okay, I'll, I'll make do with what I got. I'll make do with what I got. Those were a lot of buttons. A lot of buttons, yes. <laughs> the joys of making things work. And streaming, and all that fun jazz. Oh well, it's always fun at the end of the day, so no worries. Grandpa's words of wisdom. You'll need a key to proceed past this market. When the baby's hungry, feed him a mock strawberry. Keys are sometimes sweet. Okay, I, I want to leave now. That is a terrifying little thing. Baby isn't satisfied easily. Go find more mock strawberries. Oh my gosh, I have to see its face some more? Oh. No, I can't move! I can't move! Oh. That's not fair, I couldn't move! That was not fair! I was robbed. Oh, I guess we picked up the uh, the thing already. And whatever, gives me a chance to fill up my healing thing and uh, recharge my health. At least that's one mercy from this game. I actually kind of like this music. If they wanted to, they could actually try to make this music a little bit more horror horror-ish. And it actually could kind of work. It actually would make me think of Shadow Hearts a little bit. And the music from that game. I can't figure that was gonna happen. Lo-fi horror beats to study be anxious with. <laughs> exactly! 
Exactly. Can we shoot its face off, please? This is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Oh my god. Monster babies are so delicious. Baby is satisfied. Baby is laughing. Baby is still smiling. You may pass. Continue on your journey. Well, thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Screw that, baby. God. I wonder what gave birth to that thing. Oh, more ramen. I'll gladly take my ramen. Jiro style ramen, the heavyweight champ, king of pork based ramen. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that actually looks kind of good. That looks good. Yui logo! George, this guy probably had the biggest impact of all the appearing demons. Finally attacking the player while harmonica is stuck in his throat. George was the weirdest character of all, making it hard to believe he was the first boss created. Weird shit, huh? Uh, this whole thing is weird shit, man. for that. Oh, that was so nice. Getting him stuck. To where he couldn't leave from his spot. <laughs> I don't understand that game. Uh, which one? Uh, Travis Strikes Back in general, or the game we're kind of currently stuck on? Or are you referring to a different game entirely? Paula, sweetest of the underworld, loved by the Lord of Demons, and made a princess. This lovely lady is chock full of tragedy. After being saved by your boyfriend, Garcia, she's forced to relive her trauma in an endless loop. Seriously, what a tragic character. That you are current playing. Yeah, there's like a... Since we're kind of trapped in a video game, the video games that we're playing, um... Have their own stories and stuff going on. So that, that way they're a little bit more, like, authentic and stuff. But yeah, it's a little weird, but it's a lot of fun, though. Garcia Hotspur, his partner, Johnson is taking... Is talking Skull, who can transform into any weapon. These two demon hunters dive into all sorts of battles, striking fear into the hearts of even the demons of hell themselves. But it's the guys who think they can do everything on their own that end up ha having the toughest time. Ain't that the truth.
That night. That night. Spooky door! Ooh! So spooky! The spookiness is real. And it's not even October yet. So that's next month. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. And show them who's boss. And show them I'm the boss around here. Oh, you're the bad guy. Oh, okay. I thought you were the hero. Are you really the Johnson? No, wait. You've got a different name now. Eight Hearts. You know my name? Who are you? A gamer and a huge damned fan. How many playthroughs? Just three, but not being able to carry over weapons was always frustrating. It's meant to send you back to basics. Oh, I'm not mad at that or anything. I always presumed they were probably memories issues and stuff. But if it ever gets a new port, I just hope that you're able to carry weapons over to the next playthrough, that's all. Yes, I'll let the right people know. All right, that's enough small talk. I just can't get over this. It's such an honor to be able to go up against the Johnson. The, on the only one to whom I've ever lost to is Garcia. Always has been. Always will be. So you go to bed? All right, th thanks for tuning in, Mirahaka. Have a good night. Have some sweet dreams. Have them sweet, squishy thighs. Hope to catch you next time. Till then. Take care. When will it be? Uh, probably Saturday. Well, then again, I'm thinking I might be doing an art stream tomorrow. Hmm. I'm not too sh I'm not too committed on that, though, so... For sure, Saturday is a confirmed date. But we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow. I'm still not too sure if I still want to keep doing art streams or not. Or just, like... Well, I kind of do, but just want to randomize them for now. There's no set date, so we'll see. We'll see. Anyway. Man, you're awesome, but I'm not going to hold back. It's time for the legend to sleep. I hate the word legend. You do too, right, Travis? Yep, I can't stand it either. Okay, Johnson, let's do this. Art stream? What will we be drawing? I hope Terranetta. Actually, it's gonna be a... <laughs> I was planning on calling it Crafts and Crap stream, where I just kind of do a bit of crafting. It's mostly just me gonna put stickers in my sticker book and, like, craft it. But there will be some Bayonetta stickers added, because I got some. Now I like to put them in my sticker book. And I thought it might be fun to just stream that and, you know, just talk to everybody. Chill, relax. You know, something, just something simple. And see how these uh, real life setup goes instead of all the digital art stuff. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. No guarantees, folks, no guarantees. It'll just kind of randomly pop up when it does. I'll be there, I hope. <laughs> no worries if you can't, though. No worries if you can't. It's no big deal. 
I'll take everything you've got. Bring it on, Travis. Eight hearts. Whoops. I wonder if we could change weapons, but I don't see anywhere where you can really change weapons. Ah, bummer. You do so much damage. Why? Oh, I guess I also do some damage too. Yeah, I guess that's fair trade off, I guess, but man. Bummer. Ow. Ow. I'm activating. Oh, it's not working. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. All right, we're definitely going to lose a life. There's no way. For some reason, I'm reminded of this uh, person who was talking about this anime. Um, but it was about the skeleton dude with like a golden head. Like a golden skeleton head. And the guy doesn't talk, he just laughs maniac maniacally. Switch to the next phase, Johnson. I hear Garcia's voice. Golden Skeleton Head? Yeah, it was kind of a... It's a bit of a really old uh, anime. And it's kind of went to like really, really obscure stuff. So this guy was like, trying to find everything he can about this anime because it was so interesting and weird. Gosh, I, I wish I knew what it was called though. But yeah, it was very obscure. He had a hard time finding, like, anything related to it. And what he did find was, a uh, Many, many, many hours of research, so how about that? I heard it too. That cool-ass voice? He's watching over our battle. Garcia, give me power! The power to take down this badass assassin! Okay, these need to go, these need to go, these need to go. Oh dear, we're on our last life already. Oh my goodness. Loser. Okay, stop it. Thank goodness! That, see, this is why I keep all my lives. This is why I keep all my lives if possible. In case the bosses get too tough. A little too tough for me. Whew.
All right, I really like the uh, circling move thing, but it only works on very specific occasions, and that's kind of... Uh, it can kind of work to your advantage very well, but other times it, it doesn't. So it's kind of like a risk and reward type of thing. Yeah, let's finish this dialogue with the... I'm sorry, Garcia, for being such a weak partner. You're the greatest partner ever. Hey, Garcia, let's continue our journey together. I can't do it alone. What's up, Johnson? That's not like you. I miss you, Garcia. Let's fire up that big boner again. The big boner. <laughs> Let's fire up the big boner again. Let's go. <laughs> That's impossible, Johnson. I've been sent to the fourth dimension. I'm in the deepest depths of prison. Where are you? I'll go save you. No, you'll be killed too. This place is the true hell. Don't give up, Garcia. Hey, assassin. Take good care of my partner. Fuck off, Mr. Legendary Demon Hunter. I don't need no goddamn partner. You just have one thing to do. Destroy that fourth dimension. He's right, Garcia. Someday we'll go on a journey of battle together once again. That sounds good. Well, that's enough reading for me. Guess I'll get a bit of exercise. You gotta be okay without my gun? I'm fine with my bare hands. Don't get killed this time. I'll never falter again. Wait for me, Garcia. I'm coming to find you. Finding the door to the fourth dimension will be a piece of cake if I put a bit of work into it. Hurry, Johnson. We're gonna go hunt down Fleming's son like a dog. Travis Touchdown, the second man to ever beat me. You too are a man among men. I look better in a racing jacket, though. Tell the demon hunter to wear a goddamn t-shirt underneath. He likes showing off. He's proud of his toned bod. Hey, enough of the bullshit. Later, assassin. See you again sometime. Terry's a grown-up with a grown-up sense of humor, yep. Exactly, I'm not forever 12. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that'd be fun. Goodbye, Travis. If you're ever in a pinch, I'll help you out. Don't worry. Never needed it. Never will. <laughs> the circle has appeared. Now to the fourth dimension! Banzai! Goodbye, Johnson. So Garcia Hotspur's coming back. One more thing to look forward to. Okay, okay. All right, now I'm back. Sweet. Nice work. I was kind of worried about what I'd do if you'd actually killed eight hearts. Nice one, Travis. Thanks to you, he's now off to free Garcia, and we just may be seeing a sequel on the horizon. By the way, Paul has been really into sub-yoga recently and has been seriously considering moving to Hawaii, apparently. The world is actually pretty peaceful. Okay. Bum 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 bum! New chip required.
the hell's going on? I booted up Serious Moonlight, but the sequel to Damned popped up. What the hell? Dungeon was eight hearts? And Garcia popped up at the end too? I don't even know where to start explaining all of this. I ran backwards through that crazy-ass demon world city. At the very least, they weren't any messed up monsters and weirdos I could never be friends with. I'd finally collected the six de death balls. As for what would happen next, I had no idea what to expect. I didn't really give a shit whether Badman's broke-ass daughter came back to life or not. But one thing was for sure. Th these death balls were basically Dr. Juvenile's very soul itself. To be honest, I'll admit that I did feel like something was about to go down. You don't say! And then... Something did actually happen. With our powers combined, we make... What the fuck? Who has summoned me? Hmm, so it is you. I shall grant you one wish. Now then, what will it be? Hmm, you're a greedy one. Alright, your wish shall be granted. Huh? There's a fake ball mixed in, but I can't be bothered with details right now. Tiger's eye! There's a fake in there? How did that happen? <laughs> what? Huh? Bad man? Well, yeah, it surprised the shit out of me. A dog. A fucking dog. That tiny ass little dog just appeared out of nowhere. I'll never forget what happened. That dog showed up. On the outside, it's, well, a little dog. But it turns out it was actually Bad Girl on the inside. Or rather, it was Charlotte. Either way, what I'm saying is my daughter apparently came back as a fucking dog. Huh? Why a dog and not a cat? This is the goddamn point here. The right question would be, how the hell I knew that dog was my daughter? I don't give a fuck if you're one of those weird-ass cat people. <laughs> Ouch. Anyway, I actually screamed out loud. I didn't raise no goddamn dog, Charlie! Once Charlotte became a dog, it was like she'd gone back to being a little kid again. It's called inf infantile regression, I think. I guess she understood who I was, and even though the Charlotte I know would never do this kind of thing, she got all happy and wagged her tail. She came right up to my leg, started making these weird dog sounds, and then went and pissed all over the place. So happy she pissed herself. I was surprised, confused, and even somehow kind of nostalgic all at once. Basically, my emotions were all over the fucking place. Then I started thinking about what I would like to do to undo, undo this curse. That's when I was faced with a new problem to solve. Looks like I'm gonna have to do some shit I'd really rather not have to do again. So tell me, man, what the hell do I do now? All right, folks, if you don't mind, I do actually have to use the restroom as well as a switch from standing to a sitting position. So do give me a minute, folks. I'll be right back. Don't worry, it's not break time. It's not break time. I just need to uh, get some things done. But do give me a moment, folks. I'll be right back.
Little gamer thinks he's hot shit, huh? So what the fuck is a death ball? Okay, we are back. Hey, Matt, I saw what you did there. And unfortunately, you are right. It was Code Brown. Ugh, Code Brown. Emergency Code Brown. Yes, kitty. You are also brown. Are you trying to say you are Code Brown? Hmm? Are you trying to say you're Code Brown? Gosh, this cat, I swear to God. Oh my god, this is that one crazy chick from the first so game. <laughs> I thought that's what, who, who she was. But I wasn't too sure. Oops, oops. Hi. So what the fuck is a death ball? I totally did think you'd agree. Normally I wouldn't, but that with how long it took me, I'm like, yeah, there's no denying it was what it was. Okay, so that kind of makes sense, because, uh, in one of the extras as part of the season pass, it said that Bad Girl was a part of it, and I thought that was kind of weird, that Bad Girl from the first game was a part of the season pass. Shinobu, it made sense, yeah, but Bad Girl, why? She's in this game, that is why. Okay, cool. All right, so now what? I mean, Batman got it was his wish, but I imagine that activated the CIA and the clones and stuff and all that fun jazz, but and we've got the machine and whatever all that jazz is. Sorry, Trav, for calling you all the way out here. What happened? Huh? You're sporting weird aura, man. Have a look at this. 
What's this supposed to be? Please fight me. Kumai, what the hell? I told you! This guy's got dead eyes! Whatever, fine. I trusted you, and I can't turn out on a friend's request! That's what I want to hear, Trev. Let's do this properly. Biss out of five. Mm -hmm. Now for the first assassin. What do you mean, best out of five? Travis! I'll take you on! Hello, the perky young ones. I'm gonna beat you till you like it. Can you survive this? My 12 combo spark? No way! Now it's my turn to play. Here we go! Okay! 12 swords at Peach Sugato! He's too strong! Ugh. Not bad. What's your name? Graham? Graham? Live straight, buddy. Look at me. I am darkness. <laughs> darkness, my old friend. I've come to see you once again. Yes, kitty, yes! Live in the light, Graham. Thank you. I'm next. This guy doesn't look serious. Do I not? I'm taking this pretty seriously. And why? Because I'm facing off with my with Travis Touchdown, the legendary assassin. How's that feel? Like the greatest prey I could hunt. What a 180. What's your name? John. John McAllister. Die, Travis. He disappeared? Behind you. Huh? You underestimate me, Travis. A pile bunker. Classy. You got some taste. Nope. Oh. Cat is rubbing her face on the mic. Oh, that's not all. It ends here, John. So I was prey after all. Sorry, but you don't even count as prey. That's not even funny. <laughs> Dead. Best stream ever. I know, full of cats that, or I guess cat, singular, not plural. Boop in my mic, demanding cuddles and love. Yep. I humbly pray for victory. Next up a samurai, huh? I am known as Kinryo Hiroshi. Nothing but a nameless samurai. You must be... Travis Touchdown. I was here eating a burger. Is that so? A pale round eye assassin? How absurd. But that aside, we as warriors shall battle fairly. That works for me. what's happening. Neither one of them will drop their guard, so no one's been able to attack yet. Hey! -ya! <laughs> Your blade shows no hesitation. Impressive. You're tough. Yeah! I failed! Kinryo Hiroshi, I can never beat you again. Thank you for that. What even is this? This is like... This is so silly. So this is what it feels like to win the match but lose the battle. I'm up next! Hmm? Huh? You hesitated, Travis. Is this the sort of man you are? What a shame. We're not done yet. But I shot right through you. Are you a zombie? <laughs> you shot me in the hair, dickhead. You've got guts insulting me like that. Can you attack with that mouth? No more sneak attacks. Shoot me for real. 
You took down all my bullets. Time to reload. Where are you? The best primate assassin there is. No mercy for cowards! Fuck off! Turn into dust and float away. Feel the con contradiction of the world. That will be your atonement. My hair! My beautiful sweet hair! Nothing but aces, Trav. Are you my last opponent? Begin any time. I'll put the final death ball here. If you beat me, it's yours. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Hey, Trav. What? Don't talk to me while we're fighting! This is the final climax. Battle of Conservation is sort of a pre- Prerequisition, or pre prerequisite. I wow, can't say that word for saving my life. <laughs> prerequisite, sure, prerequisite. You're pretty tough. A bit, yes. I'm called the Angel of Absolute Zero. You may want to rethink that nickname, man. You're tough yourself, Trav. Too tough. It's overwhelming. Okay, now I turn up to eleven. All right, give me all you've got. Never mind. Why? Why did you stop? You're my friend, come I? I can't kill my fucking friend. Friend? Tara's a grown up who can read grown up words. <laughs> yes, I, I swear I can. I just can't say the words. I can read it, but I can't say it. Huge difference. F friend. I'm. Your friend? No shit! You've been my friend since we first met! Shit, Trav. I'm gonna cry. Men don't cry. Hey, that's toxic masculinity. Knock it off. I'm gonna cry. Fine, whatever. Cry your eyes out, buddy. <laughs> so that's it? You're just a child at heart? <laughs> Let me eat up all your trauma, Kamai. So from now on, you may you rest easy and live in the light. <laughs> this won't work. It's barely deteriorated. It won't load like this. So another way to load it? Yeah, you're in for a long trip though. You don't mean. The legendary death ball technician. Bingo, Kamai. I'll go anywhere. Lay it on me. The northeast edge of New England. Portland. That was far. 10 hours at 200 miles per hour. Even my little accident dried up. <laughs> Gene, you pissed yourself? You went to the bathroom a lot. More importantly, let's hurry. We have to find the death ball technician. Welcome. How many games would you like to play? I'm not here for games. I came to see the legendary technician. Where is he? If you aren't going to play, I have nothing to say to you. If you're going to be gay, you can't play. If you play, that's a different story. Are you fucking kidding me? We aren't children. We're with threats. Where, where, where will threats get us? One game, please. Of course. Come back here once you're done. Let's talk later. Bowling, huh? That takes me back. Let's do this! Do 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 do. 250 points. You're really something. The technician is downstairs. Well, actually, he lives downstairs. I'll take you there. I heard it from Dick. You want your ball cleaned? I heard you're the legendary death ball technician. So I came all the way from Texas. Death ball. So that's why you're here. I only fix. Balls for ex-pros with exclusive contracts. 
I only make balls for real bowlers. But death balls are a different story. That girl's passion surpassed even mine. You mean Juvenile? Yeah, that was her name. To think that I'd be making balls for video games. Bowling's arch nemesis. The time sure are honestly cruel. Can you fix it? Don't make me laugh. I made those damn balls. Let me see. Set your gravity's off. Give me a bit of time. I'll pick up the tab. Go have a drink upstairs. It'll be ready by the time you're drunk. Okay, I'll have a free gimlet or two. I'll have a trinity. Wake up. It's done perfectly. Here it is. The Azteca light given off from the death ball. So beautiful and heavenly. This light? This is definitely a death ball! Trav, this is where we part for real. My job is now done. I hope everything works out for you. Come on, live in the light. The light. It's a daunting task. But I trust you, so I'll try. Take care. Goodbye, Trav. Live in the light, folks. Live in the light. That's what Travis t Touchdown wants from everybody. Where is he? Wonder where he's going. From the past to the future. Wandering in search of light. Kumainates this time. Hey, buddy. Did the death ball do that just now? Dude, you created something really special. I know. Why do you think I'm hiding out down here? See you. Thanks a lot, old man. You see her, let her know that her daddy is doing okay. I will. Wait, that was her dad? Her dad was the technician? We gotta hurry home. Let's go. Hey, Travis. That daddy. What kind of daddy did he mean? Daddy means daddy. <laughs> so which meaning? I guess it means she's a good daughter. I don't give a shit. Whatever. Drive carefully. Yeah, nope. Let's punch it! Texas is far! Wish we could get a send off too! Forcing system shut down. Stop! That'll make a bug out. Like, bug out for reals. Seriously, don't do it. Wait, hold up. Returning to trailer. Returning to trailer. Well, that was a fun little episode. So much nonsense. But again, this is a No More Heroes franchise. It's full of nonsense. Phew. Nonsense? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Nope, you're still a bad dog, just like you're a bad girl. That's hella funny. <laughs> Travis touchdown. So you finally cleared all of the games. The DD AAA sleeping beneath CIA headquarters will soon be reset. However, we made it just under the wire. While I'd like to go visit you directly and discuss for future strategy, the fact that you're reading this now means that I'm already dead. This is my final message. Remotely set up to be sent to you automatically in the event of my death. The fact that I am now dead means that Juvenile is now likely completely out of control. Well, it is my hope that her wishes can be fulfilled. It is my wish that she be freed from the bounds of hopelessness. It was thanks to you that we were able to time everything so well. In a way, we fought together while standing on opposing sides of the line. But from here on out, I'm sure our respective sides will have no choice but to face each other head on. If we are able to come out on top, then great. But if we are not, then please do whatever you possibly can to stop the DD AAA's ab abhorrent plans for humanity. God bless America. Okay. Well, rest in peace, Kay. It's been fun. Well, I want to look at the archives. Hold on. Serious Moonlight 2. Wait. 
Garcia's partner Johnson evolves from gun to hero. So wait, if we're seeing this now, then... Does this get corrected then? This ball is a prototype and is not guaranteed to function properly. Continue anyway. Whee! I could tell right away that this isn't the game world anymore. We're back in the real real world now. But where is this? Is that CIA for the seventh mystery death ball? Is this seriously the CIA? Inside CIA headquarters, the Bug Street boys are running around this place too. Using the Death Drive MK2 to connect the real world to the game world. Was that the big plan? Bringing all these bugs into reality to cause the real world to bug out? Nope, that's not it. These bugs are protecting something. What lies ahead? Is it you yourself, Dr. Juvenile? Whatever it is, let's find it. Yes, I could cur. Well, that's a lot of guys, but... Oh. I didn't realize that was a pit. I'm trying to my sword, but you're not letting me. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh shit! That this wasn't the right way. Oh well, whatever. That, my friend. There we go. Yeesh. These guys are always so tough. I wonder if I should switch out some chips as well. Bone chip. Calls upon a skull shaped machine gun turret. It disappears after a set of time or after a set, taking a set amount of damage. Huh. Sucks life from surrounding enemies. Ooh. Blueberry cheese brownie. Temporary enter dark rage mode. Movement is restricted, but attack power increases. Who? Actually, curious about this uh, crossbone chip. I'll try that life sucking one in a minute. I was. Actually, you know what? Let's try that now. Because my healing is still leveling up. Or. Uh. Not healing up.
Wow, that actually charges up really fucking slow. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we'll give it a minute though. Then again, the healing was also pretty slow too, so I guess that makes sense. destroy it as well. Oh, that's a little cheap. Whoops. I don't know. I can destroy my own turret. That's kind of cheap. this work? Oh, I have to be within a certain amount of range? Oh, that's cheap! Oh, okay, jump, but don't work. See if I care. It's not that great, honestly. It did not heal heal up that much. So yeah, I'm gonna switch that back to a. Uh... Nope. Switch that back to a uh, regular healing. Let's knock it off. Hmm. Kind of confused with the placement of that, though. Yeah, I'm not filling it with the skull either. Eh, bummer. It's very awkward to place. And it's also very specific. So I can at least get some hits in. You can stop that now. Why is my R indisposed of at this point? Well, mid boss is done and taken care of. Oh, give me a full heal, please. I kind of need it right now. I don't want to wait until my healing thing 
Charges up. Oh, nice. Thank you. I definitely needed that. Thank you very much, game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. Is there 50 blessing medals to load? Huh? Oh shit, what? I didn't click that though. Can I get my screen back? Please? Get over here. And take too many hits. Too many hits. What? There we go. Okay, this is kind of interesting, not gonna lie, but it's also... Quite deadly if uh, given the chance. Okay, there's gotta be a big skull somewhere. Where is it? I didn't heal myself in time. Loser. There we go. Stop that, please. Thank you very much. Alright, so we're down to life. That kind of worries me about the final boss, but... Yeah, we'll see, I guess. I believe in you, Tira. <laughs> that makes one of us. Unite. All right, just you and me, Knight. God 
damn you and your fucking range. Heesh. So rough, man. So rough fighting that knight. Of 50 bl mental blessings, okay. So that's what it was. Oh no, no, another one. Hold on. I'm not gonna lie, this glitching thing is a little bit obnoxious. Just, just a little. Just a little bit. Unless you know where all the things are supposed to be at, but still. Use the bathroom. <laughs> Does it hurt to save? Oh, my God! Again? Oh my god, they even got the soundtrack and everything! Okay, they must have collabed or something. Or something in this. There's no way they got this much of a replica. No fucking way! For reals? There's an arcade version of HLM? Wonder if it has new mods in it. And who do we have here? You don't look familiar. You're not like him nor them. I don't recognize your face at all. But I know you. But you don't know me. Do you remember? Look at my face. We've met before. We've passed each other out by the convenience store, haven't we? I don't know you. Why are you here? You're no guest of mine. I remember now. I invited him. About the thing. I know about that. You're up to the task. I don't mean to force responsibility on you or anything, but you're the only one who could find him. I don't know anything about this thing. Nobody's told me anything about him, nor about you. There's a reason you've come here. It'd probably be a good idea to confirm that reason. He disappeared. Find him and you'll find the reason you seek. There is no reason. You shall leave. Security here is pretty tight. It's not going to be easy to get in, but we've got your back. I'll open the lock ahead for you. I'll give you a clue. He has a symbol. It's a very important symbol. Collect them and I'll open the locks. That'll be your reward. You can't! That's against the rules! I see that you remember now, don't you? The symbol. This lead-in. I kind of remember it. Find him. Where the hell is him? Fuck if I know. Oh my god, I'm so glad we played Hall in Miami before this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so glad we did. Otherwise, this would have made no sense. Okay, I don't really care about money.
Actually, have I leveled up by chance? Yeah, I'm close, actually. It seems like it's an open field at this point. Okay, come on. You can stop now, please. Okay, there's that. Yeah, if I'm not restricting myself, then there's no need to, like, stop. I want that ramen shop. How do I get to the ramen? Okay, okay, a little too crowded. Healing, you could... I would really appreciate if you joined us right now. Okay, now can I level up? Yes. <laughs> Wait, did I lose a life? No. How do I fully heal then? What happened? Piece of shit, get off me! There we go. Yeah, I did see a bathroom, that might have healed me, but eh. Better safe than sorry. Really have to fight for the fucking ramen? Wait, what? How did I get it? Nah. 
Okay, one of you can die any day now. That's totally fine. Oh my god. Seriously, one of you die. Thank you. Thank you. You're this damn ramen. I should not have to fight f to come and get your stupid ramen, dude. Ari Rang Ramen, a deep chiba masterpiece. Oriental style spicy ramen. Ah, fully recovered. Oh shit. Okay, you guys, knock it off. Hmm, it just responds anyway, all right. I literally can't fucking move! Thank you, good god. Okay, you want to get sunned out, locked out of my thing. Whoa. Douche. Maybe not. They do run out eventually. Yeah, they do. All right. Didn't realize it, but there we go. Whew. Yeah, I guess it was okay for me to heal up back back at that one spot. <laughs> Ugh. Didn't know getting all this crap was gonna be that much of a hassle. I wonder if it does expect you to go back to the previous uh, games and kind of like level up, so to speak. Because I do feel like we're a little under leveled and that's why we're struggling so much. Okay, how did I miss him? There we go. It's like Pokemon all over again. <laughs> yeah, just a random spike. Well, I wouldn't say this one feels random. I kind of sensed it for a while. But just wasn't too sure if that was the case or not.
I don't know, maybe- oh, whoa. That was rude. I was about to say, then again, maybe this was its intention. You are supposed to struggle a little bit. So this is, a, again, probably like endgame. Kill themselves? That's awesome. I approve of this. Shit. It's not the one I meant to push. There we go, you two get out of here, you die. Oh, this one. 50 blessings. Oh, use it for another Hotline Miami scene. Are you Jacket? I see. So I guess I'm supposed to find you. He's gone. What a shy dude, just like they say. Yes, very shy indeed. Very, very shy. At least in this one, we didn't have to deal with the obnoxious glitching thing. Yeah, give me easy enemies. Give me easy enemies. I don't want to fight big ones. Big ones are gonna make me cry. Oh, come on. You can stop that now. Ah, damn it! The game that this mini game is based on looks fun. I wonder where Terra's gonna play it. I'm already fucking playing it. I swear to God. I'm gonna time you people out. You don't knock it off. I've played it fair and square, and it was a fun game. What do you people not understand about it? gonna make me go all around just for this. It 
Oops. Yep, it's literally gonna make me go around for this. Ah, bummer, but whatever. Oh, foam. Ah! Stop shocking me! Get on there, thank you. Okay. Nope. To probably heal myself. Oh, there, there was a stupid thing right there. Yeah, and it leads to it, of course. Damn it! I should have saved that healing. Oh well, whatever. It's whatever. A few close calls, so to speak. Except for that one time where we lost a life. We are doing a okay though. Do I have enough for a level up, maybe? No. No, I don't. No, I don't. Not even close. Uh, I wonder if that, uh... Oh my god, how long is the stage? Jesus! Like, that was like the end game, but maybe not. Uh. Hey, don't block my path. Oh, for fuck's sake, get out of here. Damn it, was tr Jesus Christ, how many more fighters are there? Stop it! There we go. One too many enemies for my liking. I mean, it's fun, but it's getting a little tedious. Yep, kind of figured. What? 
When did my thing work? Come on. Oh. Would help if I push the right button, huh? Guard button, by the way. I thought. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe I'm misremembering. So we gotta get here. And I'm gonna top myself off real quick to make sure we're okay. Oh no, it's a puzzle! Yeah, it doesn't seem too hard of a puzzle just figuring out which goes where. Alright, we cannot do that because we don't have the thing. Alright, so that is good to know. As soon as we find the thing, it's to the, literally the, the section of the entrance. Okay. There it is. Possible enough. was nice until it wasn't but you know for the most part it was mostly nice Do not want to make this easy, do ya? In fact, I'm gonna kill myself again just in case. Just in case! Can't trust anything in this game anymore. Can't trust it. Don't trust it. Don't want to trust it. Oh, we should have done break time by now, but oh well. It's no big deal. Alright, we found the 50 blessing. We could do the coin. Or the arcade. Hello. Greetings are important, you know. They cheer people up. But right now I'm trembling with rage. He's disappeared again. Gone without a trace. I passed by you again. You may not remember, but your BO is intense. I couldn't forget it. I don't remember! I can't take it anymore! That smell is taking over the room! I cannot abide! He's wandering around. According to the info I've just received, he's waiting for you. I don't know what he wants, but he's really sensitive to your presence. Do this right? Like that one time. I was watching from the shadows. I could never forget the shock of what I saw. There will be no next time. Don't forget it. You'll end up at the bottom of the sea. This place reeks of death. These guys are desensitized to it. Um, yeah. They, they kind of are.
Uh, oh, up there? Up there? Up there. Follow the bloody trail. <sighs> yeah, I want to save. Oh, I can't save. Oh, I have to probably kill all enemies, don't I? Damn it. I was kind of hoping I would get away with it, but no. No, 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 no. You can't be that lucky. Okay, let's see if that was the magic trick that we needed. Yep, it was. All right. So if we don't have to do this crap again, let's go to the toilet. Take a massive shit. is 3d wireframe oh is it i have no idea <laughs> oh my god how much fucking longer this area is taking way too long it, it's just tedious at this point Coffee table's hard. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. How much longer? Stop. Oh my god, this is so dumb. This is so tedious. Come on! God. Thank you. So many screws, oh yeah. The screws can get a little tricky. Better than a soft table though. That's true, that's very true. Good God. All right, don't hit the fucking buttons because apparently they don't do shit other than being annoying. Okay, so it's just the right one. So if it... She's a Christ phone, shut up! Nobody cares! An Aztec... So where do we want to go then? 
Okay, so that... Wait, how do I reach this way then? I reach this way, not here. <sighs> of course. Stop, 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 stop. Yeesh. Do you have to do this four times? Maybe. I don't know, though. Ah, oh, my back. Bro, I put in over 30 screws and four bolts and tension springs attached to them? Huh. Sounds like a very intricate coffee table if you need 30 screws. Hmm. I'm away. I'm away. But my back is just hurting all of a sudden. Ugh. So it changes depending which way you go, then. Okay. Took me here. Oh wow, that's forgiving. Thought for sure you're gonna fuck me over, game. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay, so what does the far left take me? And this takes me here, to the chip. Oh, we can level up real quick. Are the enemies at the top only spawn if you go back by touching one of the bad path teleporters, and if not, you go all the way to the end? Uh, it looks like we wore it out, because it... I went back to it and it didn't pop up with another uh, group of enemies at the top there, so I think we're good for now. Choco banana crepe with caramel ice cream combined with Batman to form Travis Man. Must use this skill together with Batman. Hmm. Hmm. 
them away freely. Hmm. Yeah, it's a lead and with the power outlet inside with the leads with the lids that lift out coffee table. Huh. Interesting. So was this technically the correct way and I just fucked it up? But I almost did again. But because I purposely landed on the bad ones, I wasn't able to see the true path, which would have led me to here if I didn't touch a bad thing out of curiosity. Whoa. Too late. Shit, was there- there was a bathroom right there, wasn't there? I think I saw it. Crap. No, oh well. Yep, bathroom right there. Oh well. Oh, LED! Oh, do you mean LED lights? So it lights up? Huh. Interesting. Kinda what? Coffee table does that. Yes. Oh, okay. Fair enough. This is very tedious. I'm not gonna lie. This final area is so long. Like, nowhere else was it this annoying. Like, fucking Christ game, I get it. Like, how many stages have we went through with just this level alone? Heesh, this is just taking too much time. Take me anywhere particularly useful. I won't give me my spinny thing. You get out of here. Oh, this thing will bob. Oh. Give me that. Oh. 
Ooh. Let me heal up real quick in case anything happens. Yeesh. And I'm not gonna care about that stupid box. Thank you. Yeesh. Kill me, Smalls. Hey, dude. Good to see you again. Do you know me? Nope, but we got a new cheesecake in. I highly recommend it. It's chock full of tasty ricotta cheese. Goes well with cheap wine. I don't handle wine very well. I re recommend a beer and I'll take it. We don't have beer here. Don't talk about beer. It reminds me of him. Who's him? The guy with the jacket? That's enough small talk. Time to close up shop. Get on out! How can I meet with, up with Jacket? Can't you just leave him in peace? He's really exhausted. Not like worked overtime tired or drank too much tired or orgy tired. <laughs> Nothing like that. Every muscle, every bone, all the blood, and even every cell in his body is exhausted. He's completely worn down. Basically, he's looking for a place to die, right? I don't know. Try asking him if you see him. He's waiting for you just past here. Oh, is he fucking really? I highly fucking doubt that. What? Travis, watch your back. He'll hunt you down. Shop's closed. Get the fuck out. Okay, so he did all that. Oh my god, I can't do anything! Get off! Wow, I just got gang banged so fucking hard! Thanks a lot, game. Jesus! That was such bullshit! Fuck off. That did leave me a little salty, I'm not gonna lie. That was so dumb. <sighs> of course. please. You think I really care? Not really. I, I'm kind of done with this stage, I'm not gonna lie. This area took way longer than it probably should have. How long has it been? I actually don't know. I didn't pay I didn't bother to pay attention. Like, so far all the stages have been like... Before you even start to think, uh, it's a little too long, it immediately switches up. But this one's like, oh yeah, you've overstayed your welcome at this point. Please stop. Actually...
There's that one little dude just ready to go. Ready for action, but he's not allowed to right now. God damn it, why do I keep pushing the fucking wrong button for this? Is this the last minigame? Maybe it's hard because it's the last level. Well, I know it's the last level, but it's just too long. Everything feels too long. <laughs> oh my god. right there. Oh my god, why are there two of them? God, you're fucking annoying. <sighs> Doesn't help this area is so fucking tiny. some hits, but not much. Oh my god, why didn't my thing activate? I'm so tired. We went up to 50 screws and no power tools. Over, not one. Man, that 
This area is just annoying. Yeesh. Let's get my full life back. I wonder if we should just try something different. Uh, this one might actually be kind of useful. So I don't know if Atlas is friendly fire or not, so I kind of don't want to do that. Hmm. Normal text release a shockwave. Hmm. We're gonna try things and see how well they work. This kid, my sister is saying the exact same thing right now, except with the coffee table she is trying to screw. <laughs> oh, I'm up off by 15. And we should be able to get it in just a second. Ugh. Hmm, probably not the best for that. Oh my god. I wish I could stream this build with my sister so you guys could hear how much both my sister and Tara are saying the same things. <laughs> like I said, two green lights think alike.
Come on, get over here. This cobble is such fucking annoying. There's that. Oh my god. That combo was really fucking annoying. It doesn't help I'm in this tiny closed ass area. Oh my god, this- I swear this guy just does not like shooting anything at all. And it's- okay. I really don't like these at all. This does something. Yeah, I'll keep that. This one's just annoying. Let's try that. My sister says, I told you, me and her, Tara, just live on the same wavelength. Exactly, we do. We really do. Some massive damage right there. All right, I got a new favorite toy. It's called the satellite. Whew. That was just annoying. Yeah, this whole entire quote unquote game or segment of the game is just annoying. Katsura Dan Dondan. 
Katsura area represent the soy salsa and chili of oil come together to just damn. Huh, okay. Now I can level up. For very, very little extra damage, but whatever. <laughs> we did it. If we die again, we can save right here instead of before that. Blech. 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 I have no extra lives, so yeah. Damn. You better be the fucking last one, buddy. So this is the bottom floor. The fact that you're waiting here means shit about to go down, doesn't it? Or do you just want my autograph? Oh yeah, they're looking for you. What are you gonna do now? I feel the blow is coming from you. If I make even one false move, you're totally ready to kill my ass. Looks like I've gone and stepped into the danger zone, huh? If possible, I'd rather not have to take your head off. So yeah, how about we make friends? Well, anyway, call me sometime if you feel like it. Don't really smell like a gamer to me, but let's play something super fucked up. Let's just go back to that world of blood. To fight in that endless battle. Once we get grow tired of it, let's have a beer. Let's drink until we get no more fucks to give. Until we lose all hope. Then, if you still feel like dying, let's meet again. Oh, really? Awesome! It's a deal. It's a date. Oh, it's a date with one of my favorite characters. Oh my god. Senpai noticed me. Oh. Yeah, let's keep going on this endless amount of bridge. <laughs> oh, it does end. Okay. Sheep God. Dr. Juvenile, we meet at last. I've got a whole bunch of feedback about the Death Drive MK2. I've got some pretty harsh stuff to say about each individual game too. First, let me just say this. You are a genius, a true creator. I feel like I do kind of understand your disappointment. I can sense a lot of regret and anger at having put all that hard work into that console and those games, only to have them never released. Well. Some of them didn't get released, but others they did in some shape or form. This reminds me of a video. Oh really? Which one? I want to play more of your games, Juvenile. Come back to the real world with me. No need to shut yourself away in the digital world like this. Release the data and let it out. Return to your body. Beep beep beep. You're starting the battle program? Whatever. You don't get a lot of opportunities for a true last boss fight after all. So make this fun, Doc. White shit man. Oh boy. What? What? Hey, that cancel out my thing. Slow. Son of a bitch. Stop. God damn, you are fucking fast.
Wow, okay. Video about games that have this endless path, which is actually all part of the in-game engine rather than simply being a camera trick. For example, Super Mario 64 had the infinite stairwell, which was not actually infinite, but just respawned you at the bottom when you got a certain distance up. So it appears to be infinite. Oh, okay. Okay, I like my satellite, but the thing is, I don't think this is gonna work. Not with this boss fight. And that certainly is not gonna work. Drop that. That will probably help. Well, let's also keep that. Let's give that a go. Oh, I have to do this again? Okay. Maybe I should go back and save so I don't have to keep doing this one. But No, I had zero lives. Okay, I remember now. Yeah. Here we go again. Actually, the Gettling might, Gettling gun might be a better choice. Now that I think about it. Yeah, we'll try it for now and see how well it works. So I, it's kind of weird with how it, you place it. We finished it! Now just plug in and clean it up! Ooh, congrats! Okay, seriously, knock it off. <laughs> yeah, some decent damage is getting done to that. Alright, yeah, the strategy is just keep your distance. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that's such bullshit. How long did that fucking bubble follow me for? <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, he's getting there. Fuck off with your combos, please. Okay, whatever. Holy shit. Really stop. What? Oh, great. You bitch. Whew. Did you get hit with the disco ball drop? I think so. Dr. Juvenile. Why the fuck do I have to kill you? Why do you have to try to kill me? I just don't get it. Maybe the Death Drive MK's 2 anti intruder program is loading up or something? I don't know. But it just doesn't feel right. When I cut you down, it felt like cutting through a cloud. All this emotion flooded into me. But there was nothing about sadness. You've been burning sadness like fuel just to keep living. I know that now. I don't need a big old speech, but these are your last words. Leave me something special. A farewell poem. In the human world, the time for games has ended. Nothing binds us now. Yeesh! That's probably the most damage I've ever taken, jeez. golden chip. Oh yeah, this weird ugly ass fucking thing. <laughs> the hell's this? Guess I'm just supposed to press this button, huh? Well, this is the climax, you know. Something's gonna go down. That's the way it always is. So turning back for us now, and we've done a pretty good job keeping the players happy too. Okay, Juvenile, let's see this ending you want to show the players. Give it to me this with feeling. Let's do this shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought I saw that too, but I'm like, oh, maybe I, I was going through so fast that I thought maybe it's just me. Did, did I just teleport? Where am I? You're late, Travis. I've been waiting. Have a seat. Art. Are you John Winter? Yes! You know of me? I got your autograph when I was a kid. You came to Comic-Con, right? Yeah, Comic-Con 1989. So that boy, that was you, huh? I was wearing a Death Drive t-shirt. I remember you. That was a specially made promotional t-shirt. Must have been a real bitch to get. I got it off an old man at the arcade. Traded it for my 
Fukasaku t-shirt. You got good taste. And you made it all this way. Nice job getting here, Travis. So, this is Mars. Yeah, pretty nice view, huh? I've been to the moon too, but staring at space gets really boring really quickly. At least there is weather here. Things change a little day to day. What do you even do here? I don't do anything. Every day I drink three cups of coffee and at night I have a beer. What about food? This isn't a human body, so I don't actually need to eat or drink. But even so, human desire is a hell of a drug. The joy of eating is pretty much the center of my life here. There's a valley up ahead. I hunt these huge creatures there. It's all pretty thrilling. Catch one and I eat for a month. Got some smoked meat right here. Want to try some? Nah, I'm cool. So, life on Mars. You really seem to be enjoying it. It's very quiet and quite fascinating. That's why I'm against the government's plan to immigrate here. That would mean the end of my quiet, peaceful life. They'd build convenient, comfortable cities to live in, and it would be dra basically be the same as living back on Earth. Screw that noise! So that's why you came here alone, huh? Like a sort of guard protecting this place. I mean, it's not quite that grando- Grand- Grandoi? Grandos? There's a word that's- there's a lot of that silent there, but I can't remember. But... I simply got rid of intruders. I'm an intruder myself. Well, that depends on your answer, young Travis. For you, I'd welcome you here with open arms. So why don't you rid yourself of all that fate and destiny bullshit and come live a beautiful life here? That wouldn't be so bad now, would it? Sounds lovely. If I close my eyes, I can picture a different life. Like a perfect, ideal life. So sparkly and shiny, I get all dizzy and shit. I see. That's so like you. Sorry, but I can't just rid myself of the baggage. Like you said, I'll be carrying this shit with me till I die. I said that a long time ago. How about we drink before you go? What's this? Specially made Martian Mist Coffee. This is a weird machine. It's all in the pipes. Go, 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 go! That's good. That's a damn fine cup of coffee! It's about time to go. There's only one way to leave. Die. Die? Goodbye, young Travis. Never come back here again. Don't go off into dangerous places. Did you get told that as a kid? This area's off limits. Sorry, but you're not allowed here. Dangerous and off limits, huh? That's why good little boys have to leave. You too, right, young John? See you again sometime. Bring peanut butter! Come empty headed and I'll kill you again! Is that it? That it? I, I guess that's the end. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Um Oh Big stretch. Ugh. Yeah, kitty, I know. I'm still streaming. What you, what you gonna do about it, huh? What you gonna do about it if I keep streaming? Hmm? You ain't gonna do shit, that's what. Alright, well, that was Travis Strikes Back. Final thoughts. I actually enjoyed it for the most part. It's a very one-off game. I def You definitely don't need to play the others to understand this very well. You'd be totally fine just playing it. Even with like that return bad girl character, um, it's no big deal, honestly. It, it doesn't tie in that well to it anyway, so it's, it's not a big deal. But I would definitely say this is a really fun game. It 
it feels like they had so many ideas, but they're like, okay, we don't know what if we want to make this into an individual game or if we should just combine it together or what. So I guess they decided to combine it with like Travis, this No More Heroes game and do its own thing. Which, you know what? I can respect that. It has a lot of the weird goofiness that No More Heroes has. And this one seems like a very, very e experimental one. And, or, not necessarily experimental, but more like the developers were really dicking around with this and just wanted to have fun. Which I can, uh, I can respect and appreciate. It was enjoyable to watch you play it. Yeah, I imagine watching this was also kind of a bit of a drug trip, I imagine. So many weird ideas, but it was still fun. Especially how they incorporate it into the gameplay and style with other gameplays and styles. Granted, I guess some areas could be a little bit more, but eh. I, I think they also had to tone it down to kind of keep it to the hack and slash type of feel. I bet there's a post credit scene. I'm thinking that too. Yeah, just my only complaint is just that final area. My cat is blocking my camera. But yeah, that final area, that final area just kind of sucked. It took too long just to do anything and it just was so long and tedious. Yeah, it just, it was just too long. Too long. We've been talking to Jen this whole time. So how was it? Tell me about your trip to Mars. Uh, more importantly, what? New souvenirs? There's gotta be some kind of Mars specialty stuff, right? Martian cat food would've been nice. Well, I got this. So you did bring me- did bring me something then. Well then hurry in the hell up and feed me! I can't promise it won't be tasty. This shit's delicious! The spiciness is perfect! It's hot enough to burn right through my gut! What are you doing? Shinobu! So you finished the coffee table and you finished the game. Good Jobu. Jobu! Your article has been added to the Roman blog. Sure. Alright, let's interact with Shin Shinobu. So this is where you've been hiding out. I've been looking for you. A man needs his hideout, you know? It looks like you've cleared the latest game. Next up, the assassins await. Master. I was just thinking some bloodshed would be nice right about now. Bring your A-game, or I'll kill you myself. Shinobu, <laughs> you're a funny broad. If you think you're up to it, then bring it on. <laughs> what the hell? Shut up, you fucking mutt. Did you just call Charlotte a fucking mutt? <laughs> you just signed your own death warrant. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, I can't sleep. Who the fuck is that? Is that Jen? Is that actually how Jen sounds like? Well, geez, I've been going in the wrong direction for Jen then. Well, there was a pre post or post credit scene, and that was it. All right. You. Hmm. I don't know if I should even bother attempting Cuphead. Maybe we should stop for the day. I mean, we'd beat two games. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. I'm still wide awake. Yeah, let's do another game. Can't see shit because my cat's in the fucking way! And I guess we can just skip break time. No big deal. Any th wait, hold on. Let me see. Anything else? Whoa, there is something else. Hold on. Get back over here. The cat is purring. I can hear it. Yeah. She's very happy. Hey, hey, quit fucking around. This isn't a game, you know. Get the hell out. Seriously, what the hell, man? Huh? Where is this? Open up your eyeballs, dude. We're in development. For what game? Like I'm gonna tell you that. <laughs> Moe. Moe. Yeah, I can tell it was, uh, No More Heroes 3! Oh my god, so shocking! Oh! No More Heroes 3! What? What? Especially after that ending with number three, or number two. I mean, I, I need to know what the fuck happened and how all that shit went down. Game Plus, Jesus. Who could have possibly predicted it? I know, right? Oh. Alright, now that is over. We'll play Cuphead for a little bit, but eh, we'll probably call it a stream soon. Oh, I guess another complaint I do have is that it the duo seemed kind of pointless between Batman and Travis. Like, I was leveling up no nobody but Travis the whole entire time, and I was still struggling with, like, um, how strong versus, like, how strong the enemies were. And, you know, I still didn't feel like I was doing enough damage to them, or, like, fast enough or anything like that. So the duo seemed kind of stupid and a pointless. I don't know, maybe there's something else I was missing. But yeah, wasn't too impressed with the need to switch out between two characters. All right, time to fucking screw my head off. <laughs> No, I said Cuphead. Thank you. Gosh, the thing is so finicky sometimes. Head Mug Man. Okay. I'm actually curious, what does the shop even have that I would even bother to wanting to get at this point? Let me go see. I don't think you can reach the, sh reach the shop over here, can I? You boys think your situation is a multicolor mess, don't you? What if I told you there was a way to see it in shades of gray? A way that only a pacifist platformer would be able to perceive. Would your violent little bugs believe me if I told you that? I wonder. It's probably like I don't give a shit, buddy. Eh, damn. I 
I can't go here. Hmm, interesting. Hi C, hi Jinx. Is this is this the mermaid one? I have seen porn of the mermaid one. Is it time for us to face the mermaid? Mermaid porn? Where? Tch, where do you not see mermaid porn? Holy shit. I am not sure if I should catch and release. A brawl is surely brewing. Now go. Okay, just gotta take our time. Oh my god. Boom, bitch! What? Fuck? Oh! Medusa? Oh my god. You dare to gaze? How about stone boots so you can swim with the fishies? I mean, how terrible. Surely nobody would upload porn of this. Can you say where you spotted it so I know to avoid it? Well, I've seen a little bit on Demon Art, but gosh, I'm probably thinking Rule Thirty Four also, if I ever call. God, you fucking horses, a piece of shit. Oh my god. Man, that horse is really annoying. But again, so are the ghosts. It's kind of hard to avoid them, but then again, I do have my s small thing. to bomb form. It's 
watch it. What? I parried that. Oh my goodness. So I know the shop has like another extra heart, but I don't care for that. All right, let's give this shot. Good day for a swell battle. It's on. Oh, well, she can only get hit in the face. She can't hit get hit with the body. Interesting. Close to our second transformation, but always miss at the last minute. And I got greedy. Ghosts are really fucking me over. Just, just remember, I can shrink and move, but I, I always keep forgetting. Bitch. Oh, what? Ah. That's a bummer. Oh, also, almost got to the third form. There, we're making somewhat progress. The ghost seemed difficult. Yeah. We almost got to the third form, so I think it is doable. Ah! So close to not getting hit with that. Ah, oh, that wasted my thing. And I got greedy anyway, so that's fine, that's fine. Honestly, if we get through one boss fight, I'll be a very happy camper. to turn to a bomb at the last possible second. The only ghost can then get hit by, by a spiked ball. Yeah! Just need fast reflexes. Also, lol, get good. <laughs> That's always a fair comparison. Oh, 
come on. Never fails. Never fails. Whoa, uh, don't like issue. such bullshit! I can't even dodge that! Oh, we were so close! Oh my god, that's such a shame. Oh, man. I guess have to stay out of the path just in case the petrified beam happens. A great slam yeah, I guess, but eh. I also don't like the fact that it's only her head you can hit, not the rest of her body. Oh, really? Fuck off, dude. so unfair there's spikes everywhere or right there at the fucking bald thing it's so unforgiving oh my god Barry That's what I get. There we go. Oh, what? Oh, come on, it was supposed to drop floor. You even already had three parries, I know, and I got just kept getting greedy like an idiot. That was my fault. Oh, son of a bitch. I 
I just feel like I need one more hit. I wonder if I should get the thing back. Damn. Hmm. Thing in the automatic charge is super charge is also helping a lot. How oh, I got hit, did not get hit. I am a you okay with that. Close. We really are close. And eh, not much I can do about that. Nope. Nope. Yep. Like uh, so, as soon as I saw saw that. Ugh. You can maybe use the power that makes you immune during dash. I don't know if it is good. Uh, I don't have a dash in this one. I just shrink in size and go faster, but there is no dash in flying. Shit. Yeah, this is the bus. Let's just let's just do that. Okay, whatever. Oh my god. What is happening? What is going on? What is happening? Does it make you immune during the shrink thing? No. Because I can stay shrunk, shrunk the whole entire time.
Yeah. Concentration mode. Not much I can do about that. Yeah, I really do feel like I just need one more hit. So maybe I will sw switch back to the fourth thing. Does mean less damage, but again. Oh my god, really? Really to everything. Second stage, fair enough. Oh, uh! back to one health again. I don't think that made much of a difference, honestly. God, I hate the combinations you do sometimes. Snake is playing a sad violin. She lost. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't too bad, surprisingly enough. So yeah, all my parries, I don't know. Yep. Lamara. I guess we could do more gunner runs, but I really don't want to. <sighs> yeah, let's try this one. 
So we just mostly do the boss fights, but eh, let's just do one gun and run and see how that well that works. Yeah, the boss fight wasn't too bad. Once you know the pattern, it's just that ending right there where she got so cheap and cheating. So fucking cheap. What? Stupid fucking fish, get the fuck out of my way. Well, it, it was going great until it wasn't. That should help a little bit. I knew you could do it. Oh, thank you. I get there eventually. <sighs> oh my god, this fucking fish. Go away. Perry. Ah. We might be able to do this. We might be able to. Just need to stop having so many dumb mistakes. Well, that wasn't too particularly a great idea. Oh my god, just get away from me. How about that? <laughs> oh my god. Hey, get the fuck away from me. Hmm, fine. Texting me. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Only smart mistakes allowed from now on. Uh trust me, I'm trying. one was me. Ah, that was you. Man, why are you bugging me? Can't you see I'm streaming?
No, mm, too soon. Huh. And begin. Come here, little fishy. Oh my god, why does this keep happening? show my coffee table sorry well you should have known that i'm streaming you don't bug me when i'm streaming how dare how dare what douchebag fucking die eh fuck you I know everyone else was gonna text you. Text you, look. You should've known when I was complaining about it earlier, Matt. I was complaining about it earlier, that people keep texting me for some freaking reason. And then you add to the problem? Tisk tisk. Oh my god, I... Let's just do that. I don't want to do these fucking running guns right now. I'm done with these running guns. Oh, hello! Gabriel 2023 hello and welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Mosky, if you'd be so kind. Oh, what? Kill those murderers dead. <laughs> Kill those murderers dead. This busy building so I may have missed that complaint. Ah, tisk tisk. Tisk tisk tisk. Alright, let's try this other running gun, but if it doesn't work out, I'm just doing another boss. I just want to do the bosses, honestly. I think I have to go though. Alright, no worries, throw the fools. I totally understand. Need to go, get some rest. No worries on my part. Have a good rest. Hope to catch you next time. Oh my god. What the fuck? I forgot this whole strat for this thing. in trouble. <sighs> Harry! I'll be here, be myself, gonna make a call. Alright, fair enough. Make them calls as long as they're not to me. 
At least not to me when I'm streaming. Fuck. What strat did I have for this? I literally don't remember the strat I had for this. But then again, it wasn't, I guess, that good of a strat. Because I do remember we keep dying from it. Stupid dragon. I don't know why I didn't jump right there, but okay. Place for fairies. There we go. Uh huh. Yes. Oh, fucker, really? After he was gone and everything. to the giant troll of the but I knew it was going to die to the fire, but, uh... Not much I could do about that. Just don't be an idiot, you'll be fine. No, he was gonna do- Ah! Oh. Yep, I lost all my parries to that. Whatever. As long as we beat it. Dick. We got two HP this time, so we might be able to survive. Nothing else, we could probably get that coin then.
we're fine. Whew, that extra hit did save us. Whew. Unfortunately, we didn't get our third parry, though. That's a bummer. Oh well. Got my coin, so... That's all I wanted. Let's see if we can do another boss fight, though. Another boss. Bring in the boss. The big boys. There we go. Not everyone earns a grade A rating, if you know what I mean. Not everyone can maintain that level of quality over time. Consistency, my dear friends, that is what it's all about. Then you will experience this scintillating sensation that I do. Yeah, sure, whatever, buddy. Okay, what do you have? Slower rate of fire. Doubles as a damaging axe attack. Precision is key, fuck that. Hold lock button to narrow spread. Hmm. You want to be on your first, third, and sixth parry. Huh. That doesn't sound too bad, actually. A simple bauble of unknown origin. Goodbye. Interesting. Sometimes I do get a lot of parries if I'm lucky enough. So that might be useful. Very useful. Yeah, yeah, pretty useful. Oh wait, this is a mausoleum. Let's do that real quick. Loading, loading, loading. No! Uh, what? Why did I double parry right there? Oh, whatever. The ghouls are out tonight. God, why is Grandpa so fucking fast? That should be, like, illegal. Whoa. Fuck you, Grandpa. Oop. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's so unfortunate. Nah, it's fine though. No, no, no! Oh, come on! Why does my second parry not work? It's like sometimes it does and other times it does not. Yeah, fuck you. Bouncing ball! I just got real fucking lucky, I'm not gonna lie.
Magician Lord? Miss me? Not a shocker. <laughs> Thank goodness you came by! Those laws of ghosts had me but good that time. Here's the last magical super art I was able to find for you. Well, time for me to take a powder. Good luck! What is that superpower? I'm curious. Whenever your spirit and body simultaneously for maximum damage. Huh. Marine Corpse. Hmm. Oh, this smooth jazz. Yeah, the music's really nice in this game. Here's a real high class bout. Oh my god. What what's hitting me? Oh, fuck off. Okay, I think I know what was hitting me. Okay. Here's a real high class belt. Here goes. Oh, wow. What? My parry, please, for the love of fucking Christ! Okay, Spirit Shot's not gonna do us fucking good. Your first parry move doubles as a damaging atta axe attack. Or we can do this one. Gain one HP for your first, third, and sixth parry. I should probably look into getting more guns, too, because I feel like we could probably benefit from that. Oh, hi, kitty. Welcome back. Now's not a good time to bother me. I'm trying to play the game. I think I'm always trying to play games. You still like to bother me. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of the way. Oh my god, parry! What the fuck? Why can't I parry? Are we just not allowed to parry anymore? Like, seriously, what the fuck? What the shit? I don't know why my parry just does not want to work. Hmm. Well, I keep trying. There we go. Well, no parry that time, but we didn't die, so... Fuck off, dude. What? 
Hmm. Okay. Here's a real high class belt. It's on. Oops. There we go. Yeah, there's a bit of a delay when he does that. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, really? This is me. Man. This is a pretty aggressive fight. Oh, for fuck's sake. Be careful with the switch, kitty. You suck, buddy. You suck. Oh, I cannot, uh, uh, duck down for that. Okay. It has to be jump. Got it. Understood, game. Understood. Really? <laughs> yeah, this is stressful, kitty. I'm telling you. Oh, for fuck's sake. I was afraid of that. Hmm. Fucking hell. Oh my god, seriously? Come on, I'm parrying. Isn't there like a safe area for me to parry? Like, how do you want me to parry that's like non getting hit like that? Oh my god, that is bullshit. That is such bullshit. Fuck. See, let me parry fine that time. What the hell was your problem last time? <laughs> parry! I am literally hitting the double jump twice. Why is this being an issue? Why is it always an issue and every time I play this game? It really shouldn't, all things considered, but here we are having this problem.
Oops, that was an idiot move. Fuck off. Well, we're not gonna get it this time, but... You know, whatever. Whoops, that's not gonna get the job done. Damn. Damn, we're so close too. But man, the parrying in this is kind of ass. I'm not gonna lie. Why this doesn't acknowledge my double jumps. This is so frustrating that it doesn't. Oh, fuck off. It's probably from that pink thing. Ugh, because oh, it does that bottom uh, split thing. Or not. I'll go fuck myself. Why do you sometimes have a delay and other times you do not have any type of delay? What is your problem, dude? I do believe it's doable, but he does pull a few cheap tr uh, shots. Motherfucker. Don't know why you jumped right there, that was my fault. Ugh. A brawl is surely brewing. Now go. <laughs> Double Fuck. I'm real sick of the fact that I can't fucking parry for some reason. Or at least whenever the game wants me to- doesn't want me to parry for some fucking reason. Hmm. 
Hmm. Not much I could do right there about that, I don't think. Because I can only move when he's up top. And since he was on the top firing and the things were already hitting me from the wall. There we go! Surprised you actually knew what the fucking parry was, you stupid piece of shit game! Okay, third phase. inside the cat. Who would have thought? Hey, it's kind of like Mad Rat dead. Except it was the cat's heart inside the side of the rat. <sighs> Wait, one parry? Doesn't the orbs from the ghost count as parries? Hmm. I would have thought they did. Well, anyway, who cares? He's dead. I don't care. Junkyard Jive. All right, let's give this junkyard a try. Good day for oh, and now I remember this fucking piece of shit. Hold on. Finally seeing Terror on the big screen, my phone falling on the charger. <laughs> uh, I'm actually flattered that you're putting me on the big screen. That fucking rain such bullshit. Ah! A great time and answer. You're up. Good God! Oh shit. Okay, this one I'm gonna try doing this. Third and sixth parry. So let's give this thing a try. Ah, oh, so it can go over three. Shit. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Ah! Uh. A great climate. 
Alright, I feel like that can actually work. I just... Let me get my shaky leg started. No, fuck off, dude. That was a terrible idea. Ah, oh, what a bummer. Malfunction. Well, to be fully fair, it's not the TV, big TV screen. I actually have it on my big monitor screens on my computer. Hey, that's fine. Whatever works best for ya. Fuck off. Hmm. <sighs> really lost a good. Rayleigh's or uh, I think it's called Checkers where you are. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about, Matt. <laughs> Don't know what Rayleigh's or Checkers are. If I had to guess though, it's food. Oh my god, you piece of shit. Boom. There we go. Where these triggers is a fast food burger place. Oh. Yeah, that does not sound familiar to me. Ow! Well, that could have gone a little bit better. Mmm. Yeah, I could have figured. <sighs> the perfect equation to hinder your evasion. You know, even though I live in a hole, I really need to go out someplace sometimes, Tara. <laughs> 
it's just a lot of areas I go to are like kind of somewhat more local or at least they're only available in my state more than like available anywhere else oh my god you piece of shit God damn it, bombs. Oh my god. Sometimes I can do well, sometimes I can do absolute trash. Shit, I really should not have taken that hit. Okay, we got four parries. Kind of figure, but that bomb chasing me, I'm like, oh, there's no way. Ooh. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. All these little hits just that shouldn't not exist. Okay, you're gonna shoot out. No. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Nah. Oh, we got pretty close though. That's not too bad. I wonder if I could have killed him with a bomb. Playing it risky with that one, but we got it. God. Oh 
how did I get so good and then all of a sudden this just turns to shit? Okay. Ah, I should have known. Cause I'm here and actually playing it and actually paying attention finally. <laughs> Is that the real re reason why I'm sucking? Because you're actually paying attention? Oh my god. That's how I feel. You make you nerv- Yeah, make- makes you nervous in the service. If I'm in front of a crowd of a hundred people, I think- don't think it really makes that much of a difference. Fucking hell. Oh my god. Bomb, get the fuck away from me! Well, one HP. Yeah, I'm not gonna get far with it. Yeah, yeah, especially with that. Yes, but luck and yours are just something else. <laughs> true. Very true. Oh my god. Can I just stop hitting those fucking things, please? Really should not be taking this so much damage. Let me try that. Don't think it worked out too well last time, but I want to give it a shot. Oh my god, these fucking little things. Yeah, I didn't think that I was gonna get far with that, no. <sighs> okay, just gotta get good. That's kind of the moral of the story. Just get good.
Clear that. Sorry, folks, if I'm being a little too quiet. I am just trying to beat this stupid boss, so I do not like him. Close to killing him too. Oh, that's a bummer. Ah, bummer, bummer, bummer. shit. Can you stop with the fucking five billion bombs at once? Yeesh. Just had to spam so many of them, didn't you? Oh, fuck off, dude. Man, he really has a hard on for bombs. Not even the fun kind of bombs, just the annoying ones. Really? How the fuck did that hit me? Well, this is another dud of a run. I always like how there's like a magnet at the end right there. Like it was supposed to come out, but we fucked it up to make it no longer happen. Ah! Off screen, not fair, not fair. Really? Come on. What? Once more, back to one HP. God. All right. Nope. Didn't last long that time. That's a bummer. Oh well.
Oh my god, please stop. Oh my god. How is it I keep doing fine then all of a sudden all hell breaks loose in one millisecond? Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, tried something different. It didn't work out too well. Okay. <laughs> uh. That's strange. That actually hit me? What the hell? What's going on? seem to beat this first stage anymore. Oh my goodness. Maybe we should take a break from this stupid asshole. that please thank you huh. so we need two more parries I think for a heal up I could be wrong I, I'm pretty sure I'm at four though well if we get lucky we might have a chance That's a bummer. Alright. Oh, come on. I'm literally aiming in front of it. How does that not count? God. I didn't get on the switch or anything. Yeah, I'm sure you didn't. Even though my icon said you did, but whatever. Alright, uh, let's do one more. One more fight. And if we don't get it, I'll see if we can fight somebody else. Because this guy really does suck. I saw I had missed a code I needed to redeem before it expired. Uh huh. Sure. Sure, sure. Excuses, excuses. Oh! 
Oh, come on. That was off screen. I couldn't even see. Blech. I swear this guy sucks. I think a lot of bosses suck in this game. All of them are fine, and others are just butt cheeks. So Ludwig's Ludwig's been filling your mugs with his less is more dribble, eh? Keep talking to that fool and soon nothing will sound right to you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Dramatic fanatic. But none suck as hard as me, right? Wait. <laughs> hmm. Matt, that's a uh, that's a little sus. I'm not gonna lie, bud. That's a little sus. Jesus. Okay, I want dodge on this. Chaser, that's fine. Okay. Didn't mean it that way. See, this is why. I mean, you're the one who said it, not me. Oh, Jesus. That was bad timing. That was horrible timing. It didn't even hit her. Oh my god, that was so dumb. Oh jeez. Oh Jesus. Stay away from center stage or succumb to the power of Starlet's rage. Oh my. I didn't mean it that way. See, this is why. I needed to say wait, because I knew you'd take it. Eh, yeah, shit, that was a terrible dive. married. Yay! They did it. They tied the knot. Oh, really? Hmm. Boverm, hello and welcome. And a boo to you, too. Man, he just wants to get married. That's it. Boo has two O's. Yeah, I might have um, forgot to enter a second one. I don't know. Jesus, why do you have so many? 
That's good, she don't read too well when she plays. <laughs> God, and she has a third firm, too. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, that was a terrible run, anyway. Can I tell you something about Isle 2? That de Uh, sure. If it's related to the genie, though, I'm already aware of it. As it was mentioned to me in a previous stream. The single- missing single mip. Singing member. Okay, that's fair. Can I destroy these fucking things? Oh my god. Huh. What? You usually go where I l where I'm at, not where you're. At. What? What the heck happened? Yeah, she goes where I'm at, not wherever she pleases. Fucking cheapskate. What? I think there's like something special about this. And there's a song. Oh, where is it? This match will get red hot. You're up. Ah, was it high enough? Eh. That poor husband in the background, he's just... He's just trying to get married, that's all he wants, and laugh. It is on aisle two behind a tent right before Wally warbles. Exit to map and check out uh, aisle two. Wally warbles. Behind a tent. Okay. Of 
Problem is, where's Wall Warly Warbles? Right closed. Ellis, I thought I'd never see another living soul again. Ellis went way while well searching for coins. No one has money for haircuts these days, thanks to that blasted casino. Well, I better get back to my pals in the quartet. Nice. Alright, stupid. Sing me. Oh boy, you did it. We're a quartet once more. Gee, you must have run yourself ragged tracking him down. We can't thank you enough. Let's celebrate with a song. My name is Matt, and I'm and I'm real with chat about being fat. <laughs> Ready, boys? Key of B flat. It's nice to rest your eyes and maybe go outside. Grab a book and get some air. So. Why not take a quick break to the radio? Oh, there's chores to do, there's leaves to rake from the old banjo. You can practice your limby hop and maybe later sing with your barber shop. Why not take a little quick break? And come back for more, more. Then come back for more, more. Please come back for more. You know, I couldn't have said it better myself. I think that's a perfect segue to say we are done with the stream. <laughs> uh, I've been streaming for six hours. God damn it. Fucking feed tubers. Stop. Alright. I will take a break. In fact, the next five days I'll take a break. Well, we made some progress, you know. We did one run and gun and two boss fights. I, I, within like a, like what? An hour, I think? Which is not too bad. All things considered. Oh. oh I just don't know about that robot, dude. He's kind of kicking my ass. He's got, he's got me concerned, man. He's got me concerned. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, well, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. But I'm happy, camper. Two games have been beaten today, and I am content with that. I am very content with that. But anywho, that'll be it for today's stream, folks. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. I am Terra the Fox. You guys have been the viewers. And of course, I hope to see you all next time. Well, you leaving with giving me a B, so I'm good. What? Okay, well, whatever. Good night. <laughs>